Hey guys, testing out the audio. I'll be on in just a sec. Okie dokie, which one is it? It's this one. How do I always forget which one it is? Hi everybody, <laughs> and welcome to uh, the Sunday live stream. Today, we are gonna be making some present boxes. Happy holidays to everybody, by the way. So today we're gonna be making some present boxes and something to put inside of it. I'm not really sure what to make for inside of it yet, so I want your guys' suggestions. I'm thinking either a heart, a triceratops, um, what were the other ones? A T-Rex, or an octopus. So let me know which one you guys think would be the most fun for me to make to add to this box. Or a balloon. We could do a balloon too. We might do a balloon anyhow though. Um, we're also doing a giveaway. Uh, let, yeah, we're gonna do a giveaway too for um, whatever's in this box. You gotta guess what's in this box and we're gonna be giving away something really cool today. Uh, I'm very excited. 
I just put in the chat where you need to uh, comment for the giveaway. You need to comment on the last YouTube video I did for how to crochet this present and uh, comment guessing what you think is inside this box. And whoever gets it right first will win a $15 gift card to the website. That's right. I figured out how to do gift cards. It took me forever, but I figured it out. So we have gift cards now that you can buy um, in the in the shop. So it's kind of, it's a cool thing that I, I really wanted to add in early December so that people could get it for like Christmas gifts for people. Um, but it took me a while. So it's out now. And uh, this way, you know, you can also just win a gift card um, by guessing what's in this in this box. And if you don't, if you're not the first one right, you still win. So um, you don't win the $15, but you do win a little like consolation prize. Uh, yeah, and I'll be giving hints about what's in the box throughout the video as well. Um, I gotta remember what's in it though, because I put it in there a long time ago. Hmm. I gotta think about that. Um, <laughs> I think I remember, but just to make, I, I might need to make sure off camera. Uh, okay, so here's what you're going to need to make what we're making today. You're going to need at least three colors of yarn. We're going to be using all worsted weight cotton yarn uh, in 100% cotton, and we're going to be using the following colors. I'm going to be using white and red. That's going to be for the box and the ribbon itself, and then. We'll also be using a secondary color. I'm gonna be using pink, or a third color. Uh, I'm gonna be using pink for whatever we're gonna be making uh, in addition to the box. And yeah, and I think that's just about it. I'm gonna sneeze, I can feel it. What a, what a, what a, what a sneeze. Uh, you'll also need a crochet hook for this. I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. Now if you've looked at my pattern for this box, you'll know that um, you want to keep a really tight gauge. So if you don't normally have a tight gauge with your crocheting or you can't like do that on purpose, I suggest using a slightly smaller crochet hook. Uh, this one is 3.5 millimeters, so this one would work as well. Um, but I'm going to be using this because, you know, I'm used to that. You also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle so that it's easier to sew in the ends. There's not too many ends to sew in on this, but you know, it's nice to have that crimped end darning needle anyhow. Uh, and you'll also need the pattern. And the pattern is actually free and it's part of a collaboration pattern. Let me see, where is my other balloons? Oh, I put them over there. One second. I wanna show you the balloon. Oh wait, you can see it right there. <laughs> I made this pretty cool GIF. Check it out. Isn't that cool? I, it took me a long time to make that. Um, yeah, so the balloon pattern is available at clubcrochet.com slash balloons, uh, or balloon, no S. Uh, that is, this is part of a collaboration pattern that I did with Sir Pearl Gray, who's actually in the chat right now. I just saw him. So he's out there somewhere. So hello, hello, Philip. Uh, and we did a collaboration, so I did the box pattern and he did the balloon pattern. So the box pattern is at clubcrochet.com slash present. You can find um, the URL right there. And then the balloon pattern is at clubcrochet.com slash balloon. You can actually find the balloon pattern by going to slash present as well. And then the link is at the bottom. So yeah, so it's kind of easy to get there. And we'll be making a large size box today. But um, the free pattern, free version has uh, the instructions for a medium size box. And I think you need to be logged in to get the large size uh, instructions. So that might be the case. I'm not really totally sure though. Um, yeah, what else? What else? Oh yeah, how you can support this channel. The doy. Um, if you like what we're making here and you like this channel in general, um, you can support it with, oh, one quick question. Meta asks, uh, can you crochet with a 2.5 hook um, with yarn that needs a 4.5? I would say, yeah, but it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be like, you gotta be careful because you might accidentally split the yarn by like crocheting like this. You might accidentally like go like, like that. You know how you crochet like in between the two pieces? So you gotta be careful about that uh, with a smaller crochet hook. 
Um, okay. But yeah, you can support this channel in a few different ways if you like it uh, and you want to help me become a full-time hooker. <laughs> uh, the first way is you can you can help by buying merch. We have little stickers. I have a new t-shirt that's coming uh, this week. By Tuesday, it'll be out for um, some burbs. Some burbs. I got a Church of Perch t-shirt that, that me and my friend have been working on. I'm very excited about it. So I'll show you more about that later. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of little stickers, some t-shirts. Uh, there are a bunch of kits available. In fact, this is actually, per uh, you can actually purchase a kit to get all the materials that you need to make um, uh, a present and something to put in the present. And so it comes with the whole present pattern and a bunch of additional patterns that you can make for things that go in it. Uh, and it comes off obviously with all the yarn, uh, safety eyes and everything like that. Um, you can also support by getting a gift card for someone that you like. Uh, and, oh, of course, you can support by becoming a Club Crochet member. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to um, all the patterns in my Club Crochet library, including additional pieces of patterns. Like this pattern comes with four different sizes of present. You get that by becoming a, <laughs> a, um, a Club Crochet member. And then the last way, the reason I just laughed, the last way you can help support is by uh, super chatting, which two people actually did. So if you super chat in today's live stream, you actually get something placed out. Here you can see Coffin Crochet. You know, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It keeps like blocking off half of the name, but I'll fix that later. Uh, thank you so much, Coffee and Crochet. She gets, Coffee and Crochet has a really cool channel where she shows how to crochet like um, she's got some League of Legends and stuff like that she's very neat uh, I'm going to put out a new little character ah there we go uh, a new little character each time someone super chats and for coffee and crochet let's see let's see you're a nerd you're a nerd like me let's do something nerdy let's see what do we got in here that's what's the is the, I don't want to do the nerdiest thing because it won't even make any sense. Oh, I know. I know. Let's celebrate. Let's put, celebrate Sir Pearl Grey too and do something. It's not too nerdy, but it's a little nerdy. Gulliver, this is for you, Coffee and Crochet, for being the first super chat. Thank you so very much. Uh, this is actually a pattern that I did with Sir Pearl Grey, and you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash Gulliver. Perfect. Perfect. Because this is very Animal Crossing themed too and then the someone else super chatted Jane super chatted and she requested a burp a burp uh, and where did I put oh it's over there I got I'm gonna put out a Christmas burp for you Jane so this is for Jane a cardinal I meant to get this pattern out in time for Christmas but I just wasn't able to I'm really sorry but this is for Jane. Thank you so much for super chatting. Uh, that that is is basically like tipping me. So thank you so much. And boop, there is your little burb version. We'll put this guy to the side. So this one's for Jane, and this one is for Coffee and Crochet. And if you if you feel like super chatting, I'll put another thing out for you. Make sure to um, let me know if you have any specific uh, thing that you'd like me to put out for you. I would be more than happy to. Uh, accommodate if you want like if you want a burb or you want an orc or you want a goblin or something like that okay well let's get hooking we're going to be starting by making the box itself and I'll give a little hint for what's in this box as well so in that box look at it first off before I go look at how well I put this ball of yarn together it's like it looks like I could eat it. Yeah. Oh, I'm very proud of that. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Okay. So in that box is uh, obviously, just like all my past uh, boxes, it has something in it that uh, is from the Club Crochet Library. And obviously it's relatively tiny. So that should help. <laughs> okay, one, two, 
three, four. I actually learned this technique for the beginning of this box from Sir Pearl Grey. I don't know why, but for some reason I never thought about doing more than six single crochets into a magic loop. And then he did, I think it was part of this pattern, I'm not really sure, but he did like eight single crochets in the magic loop. Actually, it might have been it might have been another crocheter. I'm not really sure, but some other crocheter did it in their pattern, and I was like, oh duh, I can't believe I've never done more than six. And it helps with shaping, especially with shaping a box, because you can do four corners. So instead I do eight single crochets into a magic loop instead of doing six. Ooh, is it a finger puppet? No, this one is not a finger puppet. And, you know, I guess technically it could become a finger puppet, but that is not a finger puppet. I It would be a little bit more difficult to make this one a finger puppet than it would a, like a pod person. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be that much more difficult, but it would be a little bit trickier. This music makes you want to play Mario 64. Me too, dude, me too. Sasha, oh, well, thank you so much, Sasha, for Sasha super chatted right before she has to head out. Thank you very much, Sasha. And let's see, what do we got for you? What do we got for you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about the, how about the girl snowman from the snow, the snow woman from the other live stream earlier? Boop. Get a little Christmassy in here. And Tina, thank you so much, Tina. Oh my gosh, you guys are freaking flying. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. For Tina, my very favorite goblin. This is, this is my favorite goblin ever. Shank. Shank the goblin. He's actually got a hoodie that you can actually take off. See? There we go. There we go. I'm gonna put this right next to our snowman and he's going to probably steal something look at them oh look at the little look at the little family <laughs> a lot of birds out there huh um someone said oh tina said love the pattern but the lid on the package is hard to make but it but does not give up Let's see one two three yeah, it can be hard to make, especially the the part where you you crochet straight down. I did like a kind of a strange technique for it. Um, I'll show you guys when I get to that part. But it helps you keep a... Uh, <laughs> um, it helps you keep like a 90 degree angle on the, on the lid of the box. Yeah, I might need to crochet with a tighter crochet hook though because I can feel my, my stitches are a lot looser than normal. Um, which is probably, normally I would be like, oh, that's great because I crochet way too tightly. But let's switch. I'm gonna switch to this tighter crochet hook to keep a tight gauge. It just helps keep the like shape of the, of the box a little bit better. And hello, dad. <laughs> my dad is in the chat. Um, Bobby 4M Metalworks is his name. He calls it that because he's got a little, uh, he's got a little blacksmithing studio in the backyard. Which is pretty freaking cool. He's been making a lot of, um, just random metal stuff. Uh, a lot of Christmas ornaments. Actually, our, um, our, one of, uh, one of our moderators, uh, Melbell just got a bunch of things from him for Christmas. She's in, she is on vacation right now, so she's not in the chat. Instead, of, we got lovely Sarah in the chat helping moderate today. Thank you so much, Sarah. Nerdy Gamer asks, "Can we know if it's food in the box?" Hmm. No, it is not food. It is not food in the box. Can I put something out Christmassy that I made? Yeah, next super chat. Well, if they request it, I'll put out something Christmassy. <laughs> it's 
So I really like how this box, I just like the fact that I can make square items by crocheting in the round now. I feel like I'm gonna use this a bunch. Maybe we can make some mine, Minecraft characters, stuff like that. Yes, Divine Rose Knight. Yes, uh, she, yeah, she ordered she ordered a bunch of metal things for my dad. It was really cool, like like a surprising amount of metal things. And maybe I'll open this box a little in a little bit as well. Maybe we'll do like a secondary giveaway. I don't know. I don't want to back myself in the corner. <laughs> but it would be fun. And yeah, we're going to do a large box today. So that we could fit something in it. Hopefully my mom's not watching because because this is her this is her Christmas gift. At least it's part of her Christmas gift. <laughs> Do you guys see that um there was a new Nintendo uh like showcase and they were showing the new Nintendo World that just uh either just opened or is it going to open very soon in Japan? I'm so excited. I want to go see it so bad. Courtney! Thank you so much, Courtney. Oh man, I wish I finished your orc in time. I have your orc like halfway made. Courtney is a, uh, not only is, is she incredibly supportive in this chat, she's also supporting me on Patreon. Uh, I have this Patreon for Louis Loops. And if you support on Patreon, I actually make, um, I make you an orc or a goblin based on your suggestion. So I send you a form and you fill it out and then I help you. Um, and then I make something based on your suggestion. So I have an orc that I'm working on. It's like a punk rock orc. It's super cool. She's got like this pink hair and this pink like, it. she looks dope. Uh, so I wish I had it done so I could put it out for you. But we'll put out something Christmassy instead. Let's see, what do we got? What's super Christmassy? Let's see, let's see. Let's see here, yeah? Hmm. I mean, other than... We could do another snowman. Oh, we could do Santa. Let's do, let's put out Santa. You know. Let's get, let's get our, let's get our big fat boy here. Like this. Ba -ba -da -ba. There you go. That's just for Courtney. Courtney, I just want you to know I am so thankful for your support. You have supported in so many different ways and so many, like, you have no idea. I was talking about you with Jules just yesterday about how amazing it is that you've been just so supportive. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's keep on keeping on here and remember where I was in my pattern. I wanna get to where we're single crocheting three before our increases. Have I made a reindeer? I have made a reindeer actually, Jasmine. I made a reindeer kind of using my uh, unicorn pattern. So uh, there's a pattern on the website for a unicorn, a little miniature unicorn. And I made a reindeer kind of using that pattern. Um, I just used a, I used a safety eye for the nose. And then I just, um, uh, I made some antlers, like really simple antlers using just simple crochet stitches. But the rest of the pattern was the same as that unicorn. Um, and I actually wanted to do that as a video or as a tutorial on the website this month but you know I just couldn't do I couldn't do them all I think next year we're gonna do reindeer and uh, and a Christmas tree maybe for, for our Christmas patterns I'm gonna start a little bit earlier though next time so that way I have enough time to make um, 
all the things that I want to for Christmas. I, I need to get like ahead of schedule. Because right now I'm kind of like right up against the wall for for the kits. So like this next month we're doing um, for the monthly kit. If you become a pro Club Crochet member, you get kits mailed to your door every month with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making that month. And this month for our um, for our pro kits, we're doing uh, owls and maybe chickens. I don't know. We're gonna. I, it might be one of those things. Like in November, I let you. I let the pro members decide which kind of kit they wanted. If they wanted a turkey, or if they wanted to make a pigeon. So I think we might do something similar this month with uh, with chickens and owls. But I still need to get the yarn. The yarn is like a little back ordered right now. I think it's the running out of. of the specific colors that I needed but it uses this really cool color for the owl pattern that's like um, it's like uh, like this variegated uh, like it's beige with little colors in the beige it looks really cool and I, it's what I really really want to use for the owl pattern but we'll have to see if if it gets to us in time I might need to do a like I don't know, I might need to figure something else out if, if they don't ship it to me in time. But I, I'm pretty confident they will. I'm just I'm just a little worried about it. Which is why we might be doing a chicken. <laughs> or something. Something related. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to be thinking it through with my brother this week. And talk it through. Because if I need to, if I need to quickly, you know, pivot to do a different kind of pattern or something, and then we might have to do the owl later. But I really want to do the owl for January. I don't know why. I just want to do the owl. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, what did you guys say about um, the what to make in there? We got a uh, little octopus. A, hmm, what else? Octopus, little hearts, uh, a triceratops, or a T-Rex. I think I saw a decent amount of people saying octopus. Or a balloon. We might do a balloon anyhow. It depends how, um, how I'm feeling when we get there. I woke up with a terrible headache. But I had a bunch of painkillers, so I don't feel it right now. But if I start to feel it halfway through the live stream, I might not end up doing the balloon. We'll see. I'm just keeping you updated and in the loop. In the loop. Ah, 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 ah. Octopus, octopus. Will I, be, will I be releasing the dragon pattern in January? That's going to be a hard maybe. Um, the... I really, really want to come out with it in January. My problem is it's a big, big pattern, and I haven't been, I haven't been working on it nearly as much as I wanted to. So if it doesn't come out January, it'll be coming out very early in in 2021. So just keep a lookout. It'll either be in January or maybe late January. I'm not sure yet. An octopus as a balloon. <laughs> That's funny. Coolwinder Car asks, what is this? This is a live stream crochet along where we crochet something together on a live stream. Right now we're making a present. You can see the one floating right there. So that's what we're, that's what you're watching. Live stream crochet along. If you have any questions for crochet stuff, let me know. So this is the hard part is making for the lid. You have to crochet into the back loops and into the previous loops. So this part, you actually really need a nail. Well, you don't need a nail, but it does help a lot to get into the stitches that you need to get into. Got you, Dave. Took it, Dave. Too. Said that weird. Like, there. So you need to get into both of these back loops. It can be pretty tough. Uh oh, and I forgot to chain one, two. I'm supposed to chain two and then do this. There we go. Let's 
split the yarn too. This is what Tina meant. She was like, it's hard. It is hard. It is a difficult part of the pattern. And you can get away with just doing the back loops, but I find that doing both of these back loops makes it just a little bit, a little bit cleaner of, a, of an edge. And let me show you what I mean. So hopefully, hopefully this comes through in the, in the video. So if you look at the top of a stitch, right? If you look at this, normally you'd work into both of those loops for crochet, but we're gonna only be working into this back loop. But not only just that back loop, but also if you look on the back here, see these little bars? See how there's like these little bumps right here? We're gonna work into the back loop and this loop at the same time, which really gives you a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna go into this one right here and into that one, which can be tough. It can be really difficult to do that. So you gotta be really patient um, and know that it's only just for one round. You just gotta do it for one round. Happy birthday, Emina or Amina. Happy birthday. What a what a way to end the year for you. You get to have a birthday and Christmas and what a great end of the end of the year. My birthday is in January actually. January I love I love January. I'm a big fan of that month. Not only because of my birthday, but January is always so hopeful. You have such like, you're like, yeah, it's the start of a new year. I'm going to be amazing. I'm not going to mess up anything. And of course, eventually you do. But in January, you got all the hope in the world. The world is your oyster. And when you get to the corners here, we, we actually chain one in between each of these corners. So we have to skip a chain. Um, but I actually screwed that up. This tighter crochet hook is actually becoming a little bit of a difficulty for me because I crocheted so tightly that I can't see the back loops. But I'm getting it. I'm okay. Once you get going, it's not that bad. See, so we go back loop, and then we go tether back loop. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it like that to get in there. Elena, or Eliana, goodbye and Merry Christmas. Oh, by the way, this, I'm sorry to say, but this is going to be the last live stream of the year. Um, I won't be live streaming again until January. So I'm going to take a week off. For Christmas stuff. To give myself a little break. Although I do love doing these. I'm going to be, it's just going to be difficult for me. So we're going to be coming back in January. And I'll have to think about what we're going to make in January. I think for my birthday, for the week of my birthday, I'm going to do stitched characters because they're my favorite patterns to make. Can you post the link to my Etsy shop? Yeah, I can. Um, here you go. It's just Louis Loops. Dot Etsy. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll try. Dot com. That's my Etsy shop. Yeah, but I'm so excited about that Nintendo World. I hope they bring it to California. Oh! Coffee and crochet, another two. Thank you so much. Let's see, what do we got for you? What do we got for you? Let's do another... Mm, 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 
something, something. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's put in. No, no, because we might make an octopus. Oh, 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 I got something good. I got something good. Here. This is my, these are my old things that I made like a long time ago, which I don't have patterns for these, but they're just so cool looking. This is a Deku Link from Majora's Mask. I made this like years ago. I think he's so cool. Obviously it's a little rough, but you can see I even did like some cool uh, work with pipe cleaners for the arms and stuff. So this is for you, Coffee and Crochet. I'll leave, I'll put this guy out right, uh, right there. An old school crochet. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. The Deku Link, Jasmine. I think the Deku Link is so freaking cool. I only made it once because it was hard to, it was really hard to do the arms because I because I did that like pipe cleaner art for the arms. I basically bent pipe cleaners in a specific way and then I did uh and then I wrapped them in yarn, and it was so tedious. It was just very tedious to do. So I never ended up making a pattern for it. But maybe I should. I don't know. Hello, Chelsea. Happy birthday. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Oh, I like your... Is that a... It looks like your picture is a... Um, what are those things called? Like a... Not a jackrabbit, but like a... Um, oh, like... What, what are those... What are those rabbits called with the... With the horns? A jackalope? Is it a jackalope? I used to really like jackalopes. I like the idea of them. You might see I'm doing like some weird faces as I'm doing the border of this box. Like, oh, 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 see how it makes this like sharp 90 degree angle when you do that? That's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for. Cami, okay, sure, sure, I can absolutely do that. So, Cami asks, um, says that she's writing a paper um, for her medical anthropology class. With which, by the way, I'm actually, uh, I was an anthropology major in college. So, that's awesome. Uh, and she, she asks um, if I could talk about how COVID has impacted um, me as a business. And I can, actually. You know, COVID obviously is terrible. It's, it's obviously horrible and this year has been not good for mostly everybody but there has been a silver lining for crochet COVID has brought so many people to this art um, because it's an art form that you can do at home by yourself um, you can share it online we we are building like these little communities of, of crocheters which I think is really cool. So honestly, COVID has been very impactful for for Club Crochet's business. I mean, look at the subscribers here on this YouTube channel. Uh, I haven't even like I you know I'm just doing what I'm doing. I I haven't been like trying to capitalize on something so terrible. But regardless. There's been so many new subscribers on this channel just because so many people are getting interest, introduced to this art because we need something to do from home. Oh, can I turn down the music? Yes, absolutely. Uh, there we go. 
There you go. I'll do a little. Oh, no, that's too low. There we go. We just need we need something to do while we're working from home or just hanging out at home. Um So it's it's actually been shockingly really nice. Uh, and it's brought so many people into this little this little family that we're making of crocheters. So I do have to it's it's so weird because you know obviously I am not happy with uh COVID. <laughs> I mean why would I you know, it it's terrible. But I can't deny that it has brought me so much closer to doing the thing that I love to do uh, professionally for for an actual career. I can't deny that it, it and it's and it's actually really uncomfortable to to have that realization sometimes, you know. But it has been very yeah. I think that's I, I don't know I, I I'm trying to not be like too too um you know rude about it because clearly it's just terrible especially for Americans but I do like the fact that I'm that that crochet is providing a like a haven for a lot of people that are bored out of their minds at home it's bringing this new art form that clearly is amazing like who who doesn't love <laughs> I I'm assuming that everybody in this chat loves to crochet uh, because it's the best art form ever. I mean, I think that it's just so cool. The fact that you can 3D print <laughs> whatever you want. You can make whatever you want with crochet. And I don't think, I think when people thought about crochet prior to uh, this, this huge boom in crocheters, I think a lot of people thought about crochet as like, you know, making blankets, making hats. I don't think a lot of people thought about Amy Gurumi. And so it's brought a lot of people into this new world of like, whoa, crochet is something that I didn't really realize what it was, you know? I didn't really realize that it was something you could make little dolls with. I get that all the time. People saying like, oh, wow. I didn't get that you could crochet little toys. Yeah, you can. You can make some pretty incredible stuff. And I don't think people would have, um, I don't think it would have boomed so drastically without something that forced us to be inside. How's that for an answer? I think I did okay. I totally remember writing those anthropology papers though. Um, and I, I do not miss that at all. <laughs> I remember my first semester at a four-year uh, college. Uh, I did I did community college for like I don't know, like three years really, and then I came up to San Francisco and did college up here. Um, and so I started my my first class in my anthropology degree up here in San Francisco. And for my first class ever, I had to write a 300-page portfolio of papers just paper after paper for a whole semester. It's like, it took up my whole life. I just wrote so many things and I, I would keep going back. I'd have to do so much research, keep going back and changing stuff. And it took forever. I never, that, that was the hardest I ever worked for school in general. Um, but after that semester of classes, after writing all those papers, man, I was so, so good at writing papers after that. College was a breeze. <laughs> after I finished that first terribly horrible class, uh, I was so good at writing papers. So I didn't have to, uh, I don't know. I didn't have to, didn't have to try as hard. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I was just, I just worked out those muscles in my brain. I was able to do it a lot better. Practice makes perfect. And I'm still not great at writing. Uh, I think I got a, actually, I think I got an A in that class. And the reason I got the A in that class was not because I was good at writing, but it was because the teacher recognized 
um, progress, which I think was the best. I think that's a great way to, um, to teach, is not to teach based on merit, not to teach like based on how good you are at doing something, but to instead teach on how good, how much progress you've made. If you've actually tried in the class, I think that means a lot more, uh, especially when it comes to writing papers and stuff. How do I, how do I crochet uh, so fast? <laughs> I just practice a lot. I do it all the time. I do have to say, um, Cami, by the way, I, I do have to say this, you know, crocheting is, um, like this crochet business is a huge part of my life. It's, it's my favorite part of my day. It's my favorite job, but I do have other jobs. I have another job where I do work from home, uh, making, I, I'm a video producer and social media manager for another website, uh, called Top Coder. And uh, that is one thing about this year that I wasn't expecting. Because I obviously, I, I already worked from home um, prior to the pandemic. But once everything hit and I was forced, or, you know, like, you know, everybody else was working from home and crocheting became really popular. Suddenly it became, bam, I got two jobs. <laughs> you know, like this crochet business was definitely like... Uh, a side gig for me but now it's become a job like a job that I love I love doing this so much but it's hard to do another job on top of it you know it's hard to do it's it's really hard to wake up and be forced to do a job that you don't really like I mean I don't hate my other job it's not the worst thing in the world but when you have something that you love to do and you're forced to do something else it really puts a sour taste in your mouth. You know, it makes you not want to do it. And this year has gotten me so close to being able to have only one job. I'm not there yet. I, I just got to be honest. I'm not, I'm not able to make this my full-time career just yet, but I'm closer than ever. And it's really, really cool. And it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to these live streams and this community. You guys have been so, so supportive of me, and I just, I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. It's like, you're, you're what I think about every day. <laughs> I just love you guys. All right, we got the lid done, which means I think we can do another little hint for what's in that crochet box. So what, what kind of hint could we do? Look at how perfect that topper is. Boop. That's what happens when you crochet with a smaller crochet hook. It's so, boop, so tight. All right. Another hint for that crochet box. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. How about it is it? Hmm. It's neither a he nor she. It is non-gendered. Whatever's in this box is non-gendered. So there's there's your hint. That's pretty good. That's a pretty so solid hint, I think, in my opinion. Oh man, wouldn't that be cool? I know, right? We're really close. In fact, we're really close to 100,000 subscribers, which is in freaking sane. In the beginning of this year, I think we had, what, 20, 15,000 subscribers? Not very much. And, man, it has it has blown up. I, it's crazy. I really, really hope that we make it to 100,000. It would have been really cool to make it throughout the year, but who cares? It's fine. We'll get there eventually. And it is so cool. It's so cool that we're that close to it. All right, so now I'm making the bottom of my box. Oh, thank you so much, Sashi. 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 Mi Sam. <laughs> I got it. Sashi Mi Sam. I'm so glad that you're that you have continued to crochet. I think it's a great thing. 
Especially during the holiday season, right? It's perfect for gifts. If you have a guess on what is in this box, make sure to comment on the other YouTube channel or on the other YouTube video. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. So you got to comment on that video to guess. And if you haven't yet, please um, like this video uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Help us get to that 100,000 subscribers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. Yeah, I still need to work on my brother's gift. I haven't I haven't finished it yet. A, a lot of my family are getting burbs this Christmas. <laughs> We're going I'm going to be like low on burbs by the time I get back for Christmas breaks. I'm going to send out a bunch of burbs. They're all going to they're all going to be all have have new little homes. I just thought, you know, they're just such a great Christmas gift. They're funny. They're great for decorating. They're adorable. I love them. I love them. Might be my favorite pattern this year. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing like a little roundup. How did, what you know, like what was 2020 like for, for the channel? What did we do for the channel? Because there's so many. I came up with so many patterns this year like crazy amount of patterns think about it we did the t-rex there was the fungaloids there was that that was just the beginning of the year we did that the classic heart it was crazy the burbs this christmas gift it was quite a year for patterns I'm not sure which one's my favorite. I think either the T-Rex or the Burbs are my favorite patterns from this year and maybe my favorite patterns that I've ever come out with. They're not my favorite ones to make. My favorite ones to make are Orcs and Goblins. I love making Orcs and Goblins. I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> Release the birds. Coffee and crochet as, as you wish. The Burbs shall be released. How about a duck? A duckling for Miss Coffee and Crochet. We'll put him right here. Let them collect. How's that? Here, we'll turn him. We'll turn him just a little bit so you can get that good, cute little eyeball. Maybe we'll get a little bit more room there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hello, Bella Knots a lot. Oh, I like the name. Bella Knots a lot. She knots a lot. Where was I? Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Dude, Jane, right? That that pattern is so cool. It's very unique. The 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 foot is so weird. I'm I don't know how I came up with that. I'm very proud of that, the the legs on that pattern, and the lip. I'm just proud of how like, I wish I could have figured out how to make the tail, not, sewn on, because that would have been really cool. Kimmy, Kim, Kim, for you, who has been, one of the biggest supporters, this year, we're gonna do something from the big box. This is the ten dollar one. I know you only supported for five, but you have supported for more than enough to deserve something from this. Let's go with Plus I just want to I just want to pull things out of this one cuz I love this. I love this one. Uh let's go with Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. A doy. A doy. Something with a little antlers. The one and the only. Antlered Mabel Walker. 
don't know if you remember this pattern. This is a pattern I came out with uh, like last year or two years ago. The antlered Meeble Walker. It's perfect because we got little antlers. Like, look at how cool, cute these little antlers are. I think we should, I think I should do like a tutorial just for these antlers. The antlered Meeble Walker. We'll have them be in the back. Oh, that's too far back. We'll push everything up just a little bit. Not that. I want to get his antlers in the frame. Maybe we'll go, go over here. No, no, no. He's barely in it then. Yeah, he's got to go right here then. So much red. There you go, Kim. That's for Kim. Thank you so much. Is your, is your husband playing any video games today? I know last time he was playing uh, Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in so long. I remember the first one. What a great game that was. But I haven't played it in forever. I'm just such a Nintendo boy. I play all the Nintendo games. Let's see, what, what game am I playing right now? Um, I still am currently trying to beat Bug Snacks, uh, which is a game that I really like. Of course, I've been playing Super Smash Brothers a bunch. <laughs> you know me. I love Super Smash Brothers. I'm super good. I had one of my best games ever the other day. It was like I beat someone in like 30 seconds. It was crazy. I was just in the zone. Oh, oh, I know what I've been playing. I've been playing a lot more of Katamari Damashi. Do you guys ever play that? Katamari? A, a sea bunny pattern would be adorable. A sea bunny? What's a sea bunny? Well, I don't have a sea bunny to put out, but I do have... I do have a sea horse. Let's do a seahorse. This is for Courtney. Thank you so much, Courtney, again. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is for Courtney. I really like this seahorse because normally I do it the other way around where I put this on the head and then the these little fins on the body. But I did this one the other way around and I really like it because it really uh, made it original. Very different. Um, yeah. Pretty cool, and the, and the tail you can actually like twist and turn, put it into positions. So let's let's put this guy, put him right, right. Let's see, can we get him behind this like that? That's pretty good. You know, let's see if we can turn this up a little bit. We'll put it, the camera down a little, tilt it up so we can get more of our little crochet dudes in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We gotta turn shank. Antlered Meeble Walker. I'll show you if we get a if we get a ten dollar support, I'll show you the 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 earlier draft of the Antlered Meeble Walker. Um I have this like these stories of I call them the creatures of Lenonia. It was like a really old um it's an old story that I was putting together about all these creatures that you'd find on this on this alternate planet and it was really cool and so i have a bunch of little characters there there's one called um the fuzzy spotted mushroom he was the first one it's basically a mushroom that uh it's not really a mushroom it's a creature but he sits around a bunch of mushrooms like he lives he lives in a bed of of like mushrooms that look a lot like him so he's camouflaged in there, and then a little creature will come up and eat the little mushrooms, but they'll go under him, and then he pulls out his teeth and he slams down on the other creature. I really like it a lot. I think it's something I'm going to be working on uh, soonish, uh, is getting back into doing the, the creatures of Lenonia, because I just think it's so fun to make these weird crocheted creatures, and I like to tell the story like you're, like it's like David Attenborough, you know, exploring a, a, an alternate world that's made out of crochet. I don't know, it's weird, but I have so many little scripts that I just write. 
I write them over and over about like, this is called the, what? there's one called like the purple, purple sea biscuit or something. And it's like a giant, it's like a giant, um, uh, uh, sand dollar, but it's not really in the sea. It's on the, it's on the land and it holds itself up and, and the, it's hard to explain without the script in front of me, but I have like this little story that I wrote for them. They're just really fun to write. I also have, um, I was working with another, like an, uh, a writer with, uh, to tell the story about the goblinoids that I'll have to start coming out with. I have this whole huge document. It's, it's like, it's like 13 pages long, I think. And it tells the story of the goblinoids and, and who they are and where they come from. Um, who do, who do they think are the, the gods of their world and where do they think they came from? But it's told in a first person perspective. So each one tells like, like, oh yeah, well, Log and Bog, they're, they're our original creators and blah, blah, blah. And it's really cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm very excited to to use it. I had uh, we we wrote it the past like um a uh, couple months, so they're they're pretty new. Yeah. I think I'm supposed to do. I think I messed up somewhere. Cause this is the end of the round, right? Yeah. So that's the end of the round. So it's one, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Four. I just really like lore. It's it's something that, that I'm really interested in. <laughs> My kids will have the best bedtime stories. That is true. That is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, the goblin origins. It's very cool. My favorite is there's this character called, um, he's called, uh, Porgle, Porgle the Mind. That's what he, that's what he calls himself. And he speaks in third part person. He goes like, Porgle has, has, <laughs> has done many research on the trolls. Porgle will ponder upon this further. That's, that's how he ends all of his quotes. It's like, they're like articles from his journal. It's really cool. I'm, I'm excited to share it with you guys. One, two, three. Okay, I see where I'm at. Has anybody... I have never had a metal hook snap in my hands. That's crazy. You broke a metal hook? You know how strong you had to be? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Rebecca. You're a beast. <laughs> what are you crocheting? That's funny. I don't know, Allison. Please don't ask questions like that. I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> Danny asks, how do I keep count of my rounds without stitch markers? I keep kind of my rounds without stitch markers by recognizing where my increases are. Um, so the easiest way is to look at where the beginning of the pattern is. Where, oopsies, sorry about that. Where the um, where the first round begins. So let me show you. Let me get to the end of this round and I'll show you what I mean. I have one more corner here, but. It, it takes it takes practice, but once you start to recognize the increases, it gets a lot easier to know where you're at in your pattern. Also, a lot of my patterns I make really small, so it's not that hard to tell where the beginning and end are, which can be a little bit more difficult if you're making a larger piece. But for little ones, it's a little easier. But I'm at the end of my round right now, and the way I can tell is because if I go down from where this is and I find the very beginning. So this is the beginning circle and I can tell that my increases start. So like 
it's really it's really subtle but there's this little this little divider right here and you could see that the spiral kind of goes like uh up you know if it was going around it would like continue to go around like that but it goes up like that so right here you can see that's the end of the round and if you just follow that up you can find where the end of the round is so that's how i tell where the ends of my rounds are especially in the beginning and then after a while you can tell because of where you put the increases for this box it's a little different it's a little easier to tell where the ends of the round are once you finish um the the base of the box because there's a very simple like divider which you'll see in just a second so i'm going to make it right now actually because for our box, we're going to be making holes at the bottom of our box so that you can, um, we can add our, our ribbon on. Two, three. We're going to skip our first one right there. So we're going to add holes at the bottom of our box so that it'll sit flat up and we can hide our ribbons on the inside. I have to do a video for that. I have to like really think think out how to explain how I crochet without looking at my, without using a stitch marker. I'd really think it through, write a script and explain it as easy as possible so that I can help you out for that. It's something that I've been trying to work on for a while, but I'm gonna work on it more. Hey Lizzie. Welcome to the chat. I'm sure you've been here for a sec, but hello. This is the first time I'm seeing you in the chat. Okay. There we go. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit. It's pretty quiet. I don't... Can you hear it at all? How's that? Is that too loud, too quiet? Let me know. If that's too loud, I can turn it down a little bit more. Actually, I'll turn it down a little bit more preemptively. There we go. Oh, cool. Jenny, thank you so much. Jenny says that she found the dino bundle by chance when I was going to look for something for my friend. But the first time dipping into crochet, so I found crocheting 101. I'm so proud of Crocheting 101. I'm so glad. I was thinking about this uh, yesterday, about how glad I am that I made uh, Crocheting 101 so easy to like share. Because now whenever people go like, oh man, I want to learn to crochet, I can just be like, boom, Crocheting 101. Go check it out. Crocheting101.com. Teaches you how to crochet. It's totally free. There's a video series and an ebook. I'm just so glad I made that. It, it just made, it was really, really difficult to, um, oh, oh shoot, I almost forgot to do the, hold on, I, I gotta count my stitches. One, two, three, I think we do seven in between them, right? Eight, eight stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, we got one more. Um, yeah, it was a lot of work to make. Crocheting 101 took forever, and I still think I need to redo some parts of it, but man, I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> I'm so glad. It was so worth it. I gotta minimize this. Yeah, maybe we'll make the large balloon and then we'll make something to go in the box and then we'll put it all together. I don't have much of a halftime show today. I know normally I have that where I show you the things that I've been making throughout the week, but um, I have one little guy that I want to show you that I made this week. But other than that, it's been just a lot of finishing up the year 
and crocheting like little little gifts and stuff. Nothing really too crazy to show that you haven't seen already. Just a lot of like triceratops and T-Rexes and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Jeez, that stitch was extra hard. Oh, Tina, you posted a picture of me on Instagram? I'll have to check that out. How Where'd you find a picture of me? I don't have any pictures of me. <laughs> These present boxes, I think, are the perfect gift. Or at least the perfect way to, to show your gift, you know? What do I plan on doing in 2021? Man, a lot, a lot. One thing is, I think we're gonna be doing a um, a stitched uh, kit, like a full kit just for stitched. That's something I've been trying to work on. I might have to do it as a Kickstarter because there's just so many pieces to it that I need to make sure that like people will get it, people will buy it. So might be doing a Kickstarter in early-ish, 2021 for like big kits I mean it, it's gonna be a lot of yarn uh, that's a big one. Oh, do you hear that oh my god my fingers I popped them all got all the magic out uh, let's see what else in 2021 I don't know you know normally I think more oh oh I know one thing I want to, um, in 2021, I really want to work on those Legend of Zelda patterns again, add some new ones, fix the, fix the previous ones. I want to start using the color chart that I, that I started to work on this year. I want to start putting that into a lot more use throughout the website. Um, oh, I want to make, uh, pod people patterns. So a pattern, like a, a tutorial series that teaches you how to make pod people for any kind of people. So you can make your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever you want. Your best friend, your mom or dad, your favorite video game character. I wanna make it so, like a whole series that just teaches you how to make those. So those, those are pretty big ones. Um, I'd like to finish all that at least by the, the half year point. I think it'd also be pretty cool. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but it'd be pretty cool if I could do like a build your own kit for your pod person. So you could be like, I want to make a pod person. I want its shirt to be this color. I need skin tone that's this color and I need uh, pants that are this color. And then, and then you hit build the kit and then we make the kit for you and send it out to you. That'd be pretty fun. I don't know. I got a million ideas, you know me. You guys know me. I come up with a million ideas and then I follow through with like half of all of them. <laughs> and then it takes me another another half to finish them up. I'm, I'm ADD in that sense. I, I just move on from idea to idea before I even finish anything. It's a problem. Definitely a problem. That's something I'd like to work on in 2021. Finishing projects. If I start something, I want to finish it all the way through before I move on to the next thing. Oh, I know another thing I want to work on in 2021. I want to work on um, that game that I've been working on with some friends. I want to put more effort into that. It's a it's a uh, a video game that we're working on where all the art is with uh, crocheted stop motion. It's really really cool. I just haven't worked on it nearly as much as I should have. I'd, I'd like to work on that a lot more in next year. I mean, those are pretty lofty goals. It's just really hard to do that when you have, like, you know, a job. <laughs> when you have to, like, do things. I just want to do nothing. I need to find, I need to find a millionaire to just give, to just give me a million dollars I need to find a, what are those called? Like an angel investor. 
Here you go, Lou. Go ahead and retire early. Here's a bazillion bucks. A bazillion whole bazillion dollars? Oh man, I can't wait for it either coffee and crochet, but it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I can't wait to just like start sharing the the sprites that I've been making. So far, I've got our main character. He can jump and run around and and uh, and use his. He's got a grappling hook, like it's a crochet hook. That's a grappling hook, so you can grapple to things. That's what I got so far. Um, and then I have like you know background art. Uh, there's a bunch of grass patches, stuff like that to make to make the world. But there is a lot left to do, like pretty much all of it left to do. <laughs> Oh no, Rebecca, good luck. Let us know, let us know if everything's okay. <laughs> Jassus Jessica, yeah man, that's a great. She says that she'd like to use more yarn than I buy. <laughs> talk about, talk about impossible goals. Good luck. I buy so much more yarn than I use, it's crazy. So now we got our holes in, in the base of our crochet bits here. And now I just need to do single crochets for a while. Let's see how many rounds. Like at least eight rounds. So we've done one. And that's nice and easy. This, this is the part I really like. I like to be able to just crochet in the round and talk with you guys and not have to pay too much attention to it. Dude, Jasmine, yes, that's a great question. Uh, Jasmine asks, why is my Kirby pattern not on Club Crochet? It's so cute, you are so right. I have been meaning to redo that pattern on Club Crochet seriously since like I started the website. It just hasn't come up. So I think next, next year, two of the months, I don't know what two months, but two months are gonna be dedicated just to Nintendo again. So we're gonna do Kirby patterns. We're gonna do um, some new Animal Crossing patterns. Some some Legend of Zelda. We're just gonna do a bunch of Nintendo stuff because we just need to, you know. Dude, Ying, thank you so much. Oh, Ying, that's so sweet. Twenty dollars support. Oh, wow, you're amazing. Hope that. Hope that you and Jules have a good Christmas and New Year celebration. Crocheting 101 taught me how to crochet, and I love the effort you put into your tutorials. Thank you. You are wonderful, Ying. Thank you. And obviously, for twenty dollars, you get something from the big, but from the big stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. Oh, that's so good. No, that's good. How about this guy? This guy's great. You're gonna like this. This is an older one that I made. Um, I had to button them back together. It's it's the Hulkbuster Iron Man. I only made one of these and I love it so much because it's like a toy. You can actually turn the body parts. See? How freaking cool is that? Look, I mean, obviously look how long this took me. This was so much detail that went into it. But what, how I made it so you can turn the arms and stuff is that you can actually remove them because they're on snaps. I just sewed snaps on, and then you could just pop, pop them on. See? Isn't that cool? I'm so proud of this. I need to like redo this so that it's a little easier to make. He even, he's supposed to be able to stand up. He used to be able to stand up. Let's see if I can get him. Stand up again. Yeah, there you go. He looks like he's tilting down because of the camera. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, Nerdy Gamer, they're snaps, see? You can actually take them off. We can replace the leg with the arm. <laughs> now he's got arms for legs. I'll have to reuse this technique in the future. 
This would be a fun kit too. Maybe we could do a kit next year where it's like, where I can include these snaps so you can make your own little toys. Isn't that cool? All right. Well, thank you so much, Ying. I hope you like this. This is out just for you. We're gonna put it, uh, we're gonna put it right behind this, this guy right here. He's gonna be like, we're gonna move this though. That's what you get. If you support for $10 or more, you get something from that big, from the big stuff. And I got, I got some more cool things like that in there that you, I don't think you guys have seen for a while. All right, Ugh, get back into position. Put my legs up, break everything in my room. Here we go. Oh yeah, and then put magnets in the hands. Oh man, that'd be so cool. Oh, that's another thing that I want to do next year. I want to do puppets. One month I want to do a big puppet for a crochet kit. That would be so much fun. That would be really cool. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of weird kits next year. I'm going to I'm going to start being more experiment experimentive with my crochet kits. Obviously, next year we need to dedicate a month to dinosaurs. <laughs> Add some more dinos. Oh, we need to work on the dino pattern. God, my gosh, 2021 is gonna be busy. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope I don't. I keep it up. I need to like really focus. And maybe, maybe this Christmas break, I'm gonna come out with an outline for every month. Be like, I'm gonna do this this month, this that month because it might help me plan out a little bit better. This year, I was very wiggly, wigg, wibbly wobbly. It would be like, I don't know, I'm gonna do this this month. And, and it turned out great. Like, I, it was really, really fun to do that. But it would be way nicer if I was able to like prepare a, way ahead of time. How is my headache? Headache's doing pretty good actually right now. No, no, no headache anymore. It was, I woke up with the worst neck pain yesterday. It was like, like a horrible crank in the neck. I couldn't turn, it still hurts when I look this way. Um, and so I think it had to do with that. I don't know. But last night, whenever I slept on my right side, I would get a really bad headache. So I had to sleep on my left side the entire night. And I woke up and it was like, oh, it's still there. Why is it there? But I took a bunch of pain meds, so that's probably why I don't feel it too bad right now. If it gets bad again, I got pain meds behind me. Dad, what are you laughing at? My dad's laughing in the chat for some reason. Probably because because he knows that I say that I want to do a bunch of things and I'm not gonna. <laughs> That I'm making too many plans. Yes, Spider Man. I need to do a Spider Man pattern next month, next year. <sighs> Maybe with this new Spider Man movie. By the way, did you have you guys heard about what they're doing with the new Spider Man movie? It sounds freaking cool. It sounds like they might be bringing back a bunch of old Spider-Mans. Do you remember Spider-Verse? The Sony movie that came out this year? Or, I think that was this year. Maybe that was last year, actually. It was this really, it was like a cool Spider-Man movie where it was a bunch of Spider-Mans from other universes. Uh, it's based off of the Spider-Verse comics, which was really cool. Anyhow, it sounds like they might be doing that for live action. So they'll have like Tobey Maguire back as like an old Spider-Man. I really, like legitimately am getting chills right now. I love Spider-Man so much. He's the coolest superhero ever. So if they do something like that, that would be so cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and they have Doc, Doc Ock is coming back. Like the, the Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man, from the original three Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire is coming back. And so is um, Jamie Foxx as Electro, who was in the uh, Andrew Garfield movies. So that's what's making people think like, huh, 
They're bringing back a bunch of people from other movies. I wonder if they're gonna do a Spider-Verse. I hope they do it. Oh my god, I hope they bring Miles Morales. That would be so cool. I love Miles Morales because, well, not only is he just like super cool, but he's so relatable. I think they did such a great job with that Spider-Man. Um, if you don't know, Miles Morales is the new Spider-Man in, in the comics. Um, in his universe, uh, Peter Parker dies, and so he takes up the helm as the new Spider-Man, uh, and he is, uh, he's black and Latino. Um, I'm not sure where he's from, where his mom is from, but his dad's a cop. It, he, it's so cool. It, it's like, he's just a really, really cool character, and he's very, um, it, it was just a really good way to bring the Spider-Man character back down to Earth because originally Spider-Man was designed as a character that is very, um, like, uh, like, you know, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But as Spider-Man started to become more and more, as they kept using him in the comics, he just became so big, such a big character. I mean, like, he essentially became like an Iron Man. He had his own big company called Parker Industries, and it... He just became way more than a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So they needed to bring him back down to Earth. And what better way to do that than to... to I mean, I just love Miles. He's the super, He's just super cool. <laughs> he's like the coolest. I'm such a Spider-Man geek. What? The... Jaden Smith as Miles? No way. That's weird. That'd be weird. And the original MJ signed off. And, God, what a movie. That's like too many characters. <laughs> That's so many people. I'm very interested, though. It sounds epic. Fandom Random. Hello, Fandom Random. Welcome. Hey, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below. Subscribe to the channel. And go like my other video too. If you haven't liked the uh, previous present pattern, go like that. It, it's doing better than en any video that I've come out with so far. Like it's, it's just doing really well right now, and I'd love to keep that up. So if you, if you haven't yet, please go like that video. That's where you'll have to um, go comment for to guess what's in this box. It's on that other video. By the way, let, we can do another hint. Let's see, what's another hint? Another hint for what's in this. Um, um, uh, this, it's a pattern. It's a pattern that we've made in a live stream this year. In fact, it's a pattern that we made in a live stream. Oh, I, I, you know what? That's enough. That's enough. It's a pattern that we made in a live stream this year. It's small pattern we made from the live stream this year it's non-gendered so it's not a boy or a girl and it could be a finger puppet but it, it's a little bit trickier to make that into finger puppet than than normal that was my repeat of the of the hints as well nerdy gamer I downloaded some new Christmas music for this episode, but for some reason I can't get it to get added to the iTunes. I don't know why. Very strange. Very strange. Yeah, I could talk about the Spider-Verse, like, forever. I also hope that they put in, um, they had this really cool character in Spider-Man called, uh, he called himself the Superior Spider-Man, and it was Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man's brain, and he has to, like, pretend to be Spider-Man. It's so... It was the coolest Spider-Man story ever. I hope they use it. I hope they use that. That'd be really cool. But we'll see. Yeah, I know, right? It, it, is, it makes sense why that pattern would be doing well. 
You know, I'm sorry, Lizzie. I need to check my messages on Discord a little bit more. If you haven't yet uh, and you like using Discord, we have a new Discord channel just for Club Crochet. Um, I've been sharing my little crochet thing. We got this like cool little place in that Discord where you can share things that you've made. It's called hashtag look what I made. It's like one of the groups in there. If you don't know what Discord is, Discord is it's basically like a chat room for different groups so we have a club crochet discord and then within that club crochet discord there's a lot of like little um groups there's like uh there's look what i made there's one to share patterns that you really like there's one to talk about video games there's one to talk about music um you can even have a little music player going it's pretty cool i really really like it um it's it's growing still we need to i need to like work on getting it um getting it working a little bit cleaner because I have, I don't know, I've never used Discord before, so I'm still trying to figure it out, you know? But it's really cool. You can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. Pretty easy. You can also find it if you just log into the website. Um, it'll be one of the first things on the, on the <coughs> main page there. <coughs> Whew. Sneezies. Sneezles. Sneezles. I do have an Instagram too. Yes, I do. Um, we actually have two Instagrams. There's one that's just for Club Crochet called, uh, it's just at club.crochet. That's the Instagram for Club Crochet's account. Uh, and then I have a personal Instagram that's just at Louis Loops. And that's my personal one where I just post fun crochet things that I do. Anything that I post on the Club Crochet channel uh, or Instagram it has a pattern involved. Whereas the Louis Loops one, I don't always have a tutorial. That's kind of how I differentiate the two channels. It's just like I put whatever I want on the Louis Loops one. It's a little less um, curated. I do a lot of orcs and goblins there because they're my favorite. <laughs> but I need to I need to take more advantage of it. I'm not very good at using um, Instagram. I just never check it. And, and the reason I never check it is because I don't really like, I don't like Facebook. I don't like Facebook as a company, you know? So I try to like kind of avoid, not avoid it, but I don't know. It just disinterests me because I just don't like them as a company. Because I think they might be ruining society, maybe. They need to work better at that. <laughs> Same thing, Divine Rose Knight. I am just using Discord just for Club Crochet right now. But I love it. Like, it's great. It's super cool. And it seems like it's just so fun to just pop in every now and then and be like, hey, what do you guys think of this? What do you think of that? By the way, what do you think of... What do you think of this little video that is about to restart in just a second? And go. And go. Oh, it's not doing it. One second. I designed this. Um, I used the balloons. This balloon pattern that I made with um, Sir Pro Gray. And I designed it into a little video. Here it goes. Starting right now. See? Look at how cool the little balloon and the and the, and the the little thing. It you, can't, you can barely see it, but they kind of bounce too. Yeah, see? See how the... Look at how... I'm just really proud of that. And there's a little bit of shading to it. I'm really proud of that. I think it's really cool. I did that the other night. Where do you put your guesses? Um, there should be in the description of this of this video. There's a link to a YouTube video where you well where you can comment with what you think is in the box. Here, I'll put it in the thing here, in the chat. Guess here. There you go. That's where you can guess. Shh. 
Trust me, I have trauma from not getting the mushroom lamp DIY. I popped so many balloons. Oh no! Jules might have an extra one. <laughs> I don't know. I really want that mushroom lamp DIY as well. You should see Jules' island. It's in freaking credible. She just put an ice skating rink in her on her island with a um with a Christmas tree in the middle and it's so cute. It's really cute. Her island's just so perfect. I just uh I just got rid of a villager today actually. Cobb? He's one of my villagers. He looks kind of like a weird zombie pig and I just didn't like him very much and today he asked to leave. So I was like, "Yes, Please, get out of here. I want to use your house for someone else's house. So hopefully someone cool will move in. I really want one of the octopi. Jasmine, yeah, let me, uh, I know she'll, she'll be definitely willing to give, a uh, friend codes out. Or, uh, 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 the, the dream codes and stuff, too. I'll have, we're gonna, I want to do, like, a, uh, game crochet along or what what I call it let's crochet and play I want to do another one of those soon so she can share her island with everybody too yeah <laughs> he's like looking at you like hey hey make sure to like and subscribe that's what Gulliver's saying he looks like he's having flashbacks to the war Hello. Good. Hey, do you have your dream code by chance? People are asking about it. Or maybe you could just go on the chat real quick and just post it there later. Are you gonna okay. She's gonna text me the dream code. I'll put it in the chat for everybody. When is the next podcast on Tuesday? Our next podcast comes out on Tuesday. I still have to edit it tomorrow. But yes, next episode on Tuesday. Actually, I might edit it tonight. No way, Tina. He's not getting the crochet. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Just, just being honest. <laughs> Evening. Hi, Cornish maid. 1982. Where do I get my yarn? All my yarn is Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. At least that's what I've been using for a lot of my stuff. Um, and... You can get it at a lot of craft stores. I get it on wholesale online, so I just have like boxes and boxes of this yarn. A lot of fuzz. Oh man, I'm gonna end up sneezing again just because of how much fuzz just came out into the air. But yeah, that's where I, that's what I use most of my yarn. This Christmas, I'm making my friends little triceratops and all of their favorite colors. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I can't wait to learn more. <laughs> KN what? Dude, thank you. Thank you for making those. I mean, without without people making them, like, it would mean so much less for me, you know? Like, it's just so cool that other people are enjoying these patterns and get to make what I'm making. It's just such a cool thing. When I go on Instagram and I go to the hashtag Club Crochet and I see... The things that people have made with crochet club crochet patterns i'm like this is so freaking cool that so many people make it you know i hope i never get over it i haven't yet and i hope i don't get over it anytime soon i have heard of lumi gurumi there's actually a youtube channel called lumi gurumi that pops in here every now and then i think they make uh i think they make them with 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 um rubber bands make amigurumi with rubber bands i bought one 
Uh, it's actually right there. I bought a- someone made a, me a goblin, but with rubber bands, amigurumi. It's really crazy looking. And it's just so cool that he's made out of rubber bands. Let's see, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is our last round, really? This doesn't look very square. I might have to do another round on top of this, and I might do it around a pipe cleaner to really make sure that we have it the, si the shape we want to. So I'll grab a pipe cleaner after this. Around, and we'll do it around it. There's a few different ways that you can do this pattern to make the, um, the edge of it really uh, crisp. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes sense in my brain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but if, if you crochet around a pipe cleaner for our final round, it'll um, really help you shape the edge of your box so that it's more square. So that's what we're gonna do. I just need to go grab a pipe cleaner, which are, I think there's some right there. I'll need to get up. After this round, I'll deal with it. Bella Knotts is making Baby Yoda. Grogu. Do you know that Baby Yoda has a name? It's called Grogu. Isn't that a silly name? <laughs> oh, Jillian asks, uh, would you be able to make a present box big enough to fit Chubzilla, you think? Yeah, I definitely think you could. Uh, there's a few ways you could do it. Um, the first way, and probably the easiest way, is just to use chunky yarn. So if you use like a really thick yarn um, and a larger crochet hook, you can make a pretty big box, I think. Um, you could probably triple the size by just using like really big yarn. So you can make it like really big, like that big. Uh, which should be able to fit a Chubzilla. Um, the other way you could do it is you could increase the rounds. Um, so uh, make more increases. So if you look at the patterns for medium and large, you can see um, you could see the the uh, like there there's this like pattern of how I'm increasing, and you might be able to, you might be able to just like alter the pattern by putting more increases. Um, let me go grab a pipe cleaner really quick. Should be right here. Where did I put them? Oh, I put them in here. I got it. There we go. Should I get enough yarn? Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely got enough yarn. Okay. Hello, Becky. Welcome to the chat. Okay, so now I'm just gonna crochet around this pipe cleaner for this next round, and it'll help us keep the shape the way we want it to be. So yeah, there's there's a few different ways that I explain it in the pattern for how to um, how to do like a, a really clean edge. Uh, and I don't know. I just think this this way might be kind of fun for this video. So all we're gonna basically do is crochet around a pipe cleaner for this entire round, and that way that way we can just like make sure that it's in the right position. We're gonna crochet it a little bit tighter than norm normal too. Now normally I'd be crocheting around a white pipe cleaner, but I only have a pink one right now, so we're just gonna do a pink pipe cleaner. Am I having neck trouble? I mean, it hurts. My neck, it, do it doesn't feel good, but it's okay. Thank you so much for caring though. I appreciate that Cornish made. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pull this pipe cleaner tight as I'm going to so that I can get as little amount of you can see the pink a little bit through it but I want as little amount of that pink showing through as I can 
Victoria, any asks any tips for how to get free patterns? Well, my first tip is um, is to not think so much about getting free patterns, and you should pay for your patterns. But <laughs> that's because uh, you know it's hard for a crocheter to make a lot of money when people just want to make free patterns. That being said, if you go to the website clubcrochet.com and you go to the browse section, uh, I have a section where it's just for free patterns. So you can actually browse by just free patterns. And there are a lot of free patterns on there. Um, I would say like at least like 50 free patterns on there. And then another cool way you can get free patterns on this website is that um, you can actually get a free trial for a Club Crochet membership. Members get um, access to all of my patterns, like literally every single pattern on the website. So you can get a seven day free trial. Just make as much as you possibly can in those seven days and then cancel it. So that'll get you a bunch of patterns that are supposed to be paid, but for free. Um, yeah, but obviously I suggest trying to support if you can. There we go. And see, like I can use the pipe cleaner. I can like bend it into a little, into a square a little bit easier. Hello CDM. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey Isaac. Another another brochure. <laughs> if you don't know, we have a there's this subreddit called Broche. I'm a I'm a moderator on that subreddit actually. And it's all about uh, you don't have to be a dude, but it's about being a bro and crocheting. It's just a fun play on words. We thought it was fun, so we made it. And it's doing really, really well. Like, it's got a lot of people on that subreddit. It's kind of awesome. It's awesome to go in there and, like, see so many people posting on it. When are we, when are we doing our podcast again? We're doing our podcast on uh, Tuesday. So our, our podcast will come out on Tuesday. It's kind of a Christmassy episode. Um, we tried to not do too much Christmassy in it, but we definitely go a little Christmassy. Hey, Isabel. Welcome. Oh, a polar bear would be really fun to do next year, too. I like that idea. Okay, so now I'm on my last stitch right here. Do a little slip stitch. And what I'm gonna do, get this yarn over here. I'm just gonna cut the ends here. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull our pipe cleaner a little bit tighter. Try to like squeeze it around a little. Make sure it's in the shape that we want. And then we're just gonna cut the ends of our pipe cleaner. I, now I normally suggest not doing this with with your scissors, but I'm too lazy to get up and get my other things. But they do dull your scissors slightly every time I do that. So, oh well, what you gonna do? Pull that through, and we're just gonna hide this end. And we should have our box all made. Now we just need to make our ribbon for a box, and then we need to make whatever we're making inside of it. I think a lot of people thought uh, want to do an octopus, so I think that'd be pretty fun. Let's see. Just do a few stitches there. Just gonna hide the end in a few stitches. Like that. There we go. Let's fit our top on there, make sure it all fits together. go oh that's a nice snug fit that's exactly what we're looking for perfect look at that oh it's perfect what a great box 
Let's make sure one of our characters can fit in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hi, Shank. He's <laughs> like, no, get me out of this box. Look at that. Great. Now we just need to add the ribbon that goes around it. Get Shank out of there for right now. Put it to the side. And while I'm working on this ribbon, let's think of another hint. Let's see. Oh, oh, wait. This, so this is how I do the ribbon, by the way. Um, you need to make sure it's like a perfect size. So what we're going to do is, is we want to fit the top on there. And we want to tie a ribbon around it. We're going to use that to mark how long we want our piece to be. So we're going to go over the top like this. Around like that. Around the top. Because we want to make a thicker one than this. What we're going to do is we'll just double knot it. Or, or do a loop knot and then do one of these. Like that. Okay. And then we can cut the ends. Like that. So this is how, this is what we're going to make. We're going to make it a thicker though. Um, because this, this box needs a thicker string than that. So we're going to untie this. We're going to use this to dictate... We're going to use this to dictate how long we need to make the, the ribbon. We'll kick the box out like that. Yeah, my mom wants a balloon really bad, so we'll do a balloon and a, and the other thing. Oh, and by the way, I know you keep hearing that li those little dings. That's because Jules just texted me her. There we go. I put it on Do Not Disturb. This is Jules's friend code, not friend code, um, dream code on Animal Crossing. So if anybody wants to check out Jules's Animal Crossing Island Animal Crossing Island That's where you can do it. Go check it out. It's amazing. It's it's a really really impressive island. So in the beginning here, I ch I do my chains and I, and I want to hide this end. So I'm kind of pushing around the end as I go. Which should help us hide it. Maybe one more. There we go. And now we'll just keep doing chains until this is long enough. And I don't need to count. This is what this is why I really like this little technique that I'm doing is because you don't even need to count the chains because you just need to make it as long as the first string is. Can you crochet a ribbon instead of the red yarn? Can you crochet ribbon? Well, that's what we're doing. We're crocheting. We're crocheting like a th ribbon, a thicker ribbon. Did it not go out? Huh? Okay, I just commented on the Club Crochet one that just says test. Can you see this? Yeah, okay, you can see that, right? Okay. You see that? Huh, that's so weird. It's not like putting... That's so weird. It's like not pasting the whole thing. I don't know why. Hmm. Here, I'll do it on this thing then. Hold on. One second. Let's see if I can cut. Let's see if I can do it on my. On on this instead. If for some reason it's not letting me paste like links and stuff. Uh, 
Um, one sec. Hold on, hold tight. There. I don't know why. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that on my normal account. That's actually super weird. But there you go. Yeah, I, it's so weird. It's not letting me post links. Maybe I have to make my own account a moderator or something weird like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling here. Allison wants a hint and she wants to know when the live stream will end. The live stream will probably be going for at least another hour because we need to make things that will go in the box. Um, and a hint for what's in that box. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, it is... Hmm. It's from a video game. <coughs> from a video game. There's your hint. Um, Lizzie asks, are we live next Sunday? No, this is going to be my last live stream for the year. Uh, and then I'll be back in January for, uh, I think first Sunday of January. I'm not sure what day that is. Let's see, can I pull up a calendar? How do I pull up a calendar somewhere? Hmm. Yeah, probably, but whatever the first weekend in January is, that's when we'll probably get back. I'm just going to take a break next, uh, next week and do a little do a little holidaying a little vacationing okay so we're about halfway there and then i need to i'm gonna single crochet or i'm gonna slip stitch back down on this ribbon to make it a little thicker too dude karuma that is totally the point i'm so glad you're crocheting with us Making another gift box too, huh? Very cool. Uh, yeah, and even if someone already has gotten the answer right for what's in the box, you still can enter to win. Um, well, I'm only gonna be giving away one $15 gift card, but even if you get it right, I'm gonna give away um, a, a, a little bundle of patterns. So you still win. You still win regardless. Is it something you've crocheted before? Yes, it is. I crocheted it um, uh, during one of these live streams. So that should help out. All right, so we went a little longer than I wanted, so I'm gonna pull out just a few chains, maybe like three, one, two, three, and then I'll start slip stitching back down. Let's just test that out now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back down to make it even thicker. because we want it to be more of a ribbon than just like a string. There we go. <laughs> I 
Hey, Dim. How you doing, man? How you doing? Or dude. Hello, Yusuf. What are the clues so far? The clues are... It is something that um, we've crocheted during a live stream. It's non-gendered. So it doesn't have a gender. It um, <clears throat> is small enough to fit in that box. It can be a finger puppet, but it might be a little bit trickier to turn it into a finger puppet. Um, and I think the last hint was it's from a video game. Do I have a favorite video game? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, I have a lot of favorite video games. I think one of my absolute favorite video games is Pikmin. I love Pikmin. I just love it so much. It's just so cute and fun. Uh, so that's one of my favorites. I really like... Um, I love Zelda. But who doesn't, honestly? Uh, the game I probably play the most is Super Smash Brothers. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's my favorite video game, but I play it the most. I love it. Uh, I play Pikmin a lot though. I, I, I just replay it all the time because it's just so fun. Uh, I love Katamari Damashi. Uh, if you don't know what Katamari Damashi is, it's a video game where you're this like, you're this little prince of the universe and you roll around a big ball and you just pick up stuff it's very like it's kind of like a japanese arcade game it's not an arcade game but it feels like an arcade game uh and you just roll this ball around and and pick up as much much stuff as you can around the world and you roll up a big ball and then it turns into a star so you you roll around and you pick up like You'll start by picking up small things like candy and uh, dice and like maybe little mice, and then eventually you get big enough and you like you can start picking up people. You, know, you can start picking up cars, and then you can start picking up buildings, and you can start picking up islands. It's super cool. I love it. It's really casual, and the music in that game is really great. I love that game. Oh, Jasmine, you got to get the full game, dude. That demo is great, though. It's a very good demo. And yeah, I love Breath of the Wild is amazing. I love that game so much. Uh, I've played it twice now, which is a lot to play the same game. I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I tried Age of Calamity, the new um, Zelda, uh, like, it's kind of like a battle game. It's okay. I don't know. It's very different. It's not very Zelda-y. It's, it's, it's just like a different kind of game. And I don't know. I just wasn't really that into it. Dude, yeah. Pikmin is the best, Julia. Yeah, I always want... I really want to play the, the co-op mode with Jules, but she just wasn't that interested, which is fine. Jules and I really like to play Overcooked. You ever played Overcooked? It's a game where you are a little cook. You're a little chef and, and you have to work together. And it's it's kind of unlike any other video game I've ever played because everything is about communication in the real world. So you have to like explain, hey, I need some chopped, um, I need some chopped uh, carrot, stat. Send me chopped carrot. Oh, I need, Put this on the grill. Order up. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. You're just... It's kind of shocking how fun that game is. Yusuf, it is from a video game. So it's not like the last one. Like, last time it was Iron Man, who was featured in video games, but it was kind of a red herring to throw you off. No, 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 no. This time it is from a video game. Obviously, I love Pokemon too. I haven't 
played too much of the new one. I mean, I, I played the new one a bunch, but I never beat the Elite Four. I always play that. I always play Pokemon games, and then I kind of like. I never finish them. I don't know. Who's Dan and Phil? Jasmine said that she watched Dan and Phil play it. I don't know who Dan and Phil are. Has the relation? Yeah, dude. The relationship. The relationship is, uh, Overcooked makes the relationship even stronger, I would say. It helps with communication between us and stuff. It's, it's a really, really cool game. Hello, 1340 Pizza Cats Meow. <laughs> Love that name. And it looks like you have the the panda from We Bo We Are Bears or We Bear Bears. I don't know how to say that that show, but it's a very silly show. Yeah, communication is, I mean, communication is key in any relationship. And yeah, I can that game specifically can get a little frustrating when you're not very good at communicating, but you get better and better at it. And you and when you beat a level, it feels so good. We've got 4 stars on almost all we got 4 stars on all the levels in the main story in Overcooked 2. Uh, and now we're working on all the um, the co the the you know, DLC levels. Yeah, we really like that game a lot. What's my favorite animal? I, oh man, you have some hard questions. My favorite animal, I really like kangaroos a lot. I love lemurs. Gosh, I love lemurs. They're the best. Um, I really like... Let's see. Let's see. I, hummingbirds. Oh, hummingbirds are great. I think my spirit animal is probably either a hummingbird or a, um, a raccoon. really like raccoons a lot. I just feel like I am a raccoon. <laughs> I stay up late. I eat garbage. <laughs> Raccoons and pot. Well, possums aren't underrated. Possums are a little creepy and weird, in my opinion. <laughs> they can be. They can be strange. I remember when I was a kid, I saw a possum and it was playing dead, and I was like, really weirded out by it. Also, they look so creepy. The baby possums are pretty damn cute. They're like, oh, look at the baby possum. But a grown grown possum? Creepy. That thing is terrifying. It's like a giant scary rat. We do need a raccoon amigurumi. Oh my gosh, we totally need a raccoon amigurumi. Raccoon amigurumi. Raccoon amigurumi. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut these two ends here. I'm gonna really stretch it out so I don't get too much lost in there. And let's add this ribbon. So what you do for the ribbon is we go, I have these little holes there, they're kinda hard to see. We go in through one end, like that. Like, like that. And then we go over the top and we go in through the other end. Like, like so. Yes, yes, excellent. No, come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to use the crochet hook to help us out here. We're just going to push it through. Oh, that's right. I had a bigger, I had another stick. I brought the stick out just for that. Like this. And then we'll just pull that through. That 
And we want to pull it up almost so that it is like almost tight, tight enough. Like, like so. And then we twist it on the inside like this. See, so I make a little X on the inside. I'm gonna push this part down. X on the inside and then we wanna come out. Like that. And we'll do it to the other side. Close. I'm gonna put the top on it. Let's, I'm just gonna put something in it for right now, just to give it a little bit of like oomph. So I'll put shank back in there. Put the top on. I'm, I'm just gonna tie it around shank, just so we can get a knot, and then we'll open it up and we'll let him free. Okay, this side a little bit more. I want it to be as equal as we can at the top. It's pretty close. A little tighter. And then we're gonna do a little, a little knot up here. And then we'll do a little loop knot like this. Hopefully it's long enough. I might need to tie it a little tighter. Ugh. There we go. Just want a little bit more. And end. Do it. There, that's, I mean, it's not a great, let's, let's be honest, that's not, that's not amazing, but it works for right now. I'll just open it up like that, let's shank out, and now let's add something that we're going to put on it. What is the Discord link? Here's the Discord link. It's just, Discord. Ah, oh, I messed it up but it's pretty close. <laughs> I think it's in the description of this as well. Okay, so now we wanna do, let's see, we wanted to do, let's start with the balloon. Let's do the balloon first and then, and then we might do the, we might do an additional gift on top of that. So I need to pull up the balloon pattern. So just give me a second have it somewhere. Oopsies, I messed that up. There we go. Go like that. I just need to send it to my computer or to my iPad. So this pattern that I'm going to be doing right now is a collaboration with Sir Pearl Gray. It's on his YouTube channel. So you can actually find it by just going to uh, Sir Pearl Gray's YouTube channel. You can also find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash balloon. And we're going to be doing the large balloon because it's the only balloon that'll that'll be big enough for our box here. We're going to be doing it in pink. In pink. Is whatever is... Wait, so Yusuf asks... A, um, is whatever is in the box in a monthly kit. Um, it was once in a monthly kit, but it actually wasn't in one of the monthly kits this, this year. Um, but it was once in a monthly kit.
Make it with Alex. You already made it? That's awesome. I haven't seen anybody... <laughs> I haven't seen anybody, any pictures yet of any crocheted boxes. So that's really cool to know that someone else has already made it. Crafty Bunny, you... I'm pretty sure I did email... I didn't email you? Really? Okay, I'll, I'll look into that after this, Crafty Bunny. I, I sent an email out to all the people that got it right. I thought I sent you one too, but I'll look into it after this. Actually, if you if you don't mind, could you email me directly, Crafty Bunny? Uh, that way I know your email. You can email me by just going uh, emailing Louie, L-O-U-I-E, at clubcrochet.com. That's, that's my email. Okay, so now we're making... Uh, I'm just going to do this really quick. It's just the balloon pattern. What's really nice about the balloon pattern is it's really easy to make. Um, it's like a relatively simple pattern. And what, what I really like about the uh, pattern on the website is I do three different sizes. So you can learn how to make the small, the medium, or a large balloon. I like that. I'm, I'm proud of that. I think making different sizes of certain things is really nice too because you know it gives people the options to make them however size however big or small they want to make them the box pattern even has a really mini version that's like an inch tall of a box i really like it in fact i'll show you one in just a sec let's finish this balloon first though So we need to go up to 30 stitches in diameter for this uh, balloon. I probably should have done another color other than pink, but whatever. My mom will like a pink balloon. I want a pet raccoon. Dude, the goblet just made... You know, I, I don't know if I have patterns for the goblets. I need to make a pattern for them. The little miniature goblins. 1340 Pizza asks, how am I keeping track of my stitches right now? Because as you can tell, I'm not even looking at them. Um, the... The way I'm keeping track, I just did my first uh, repeat in this round. I'm just keeping track of where the increases are. So I'll show you where the next increase is. This is the next increase. And you can tell, let me grab my needle, I'll show you. See how there's two Vs? See these? One, two, one, two. And they're all both going into one spot right there. You, that that's how you can tell the difference between an increase and a single crochet. This is a single crochet. There's just one V. Here's another single crochet. Just one V, and an increase has two Vs. And so what I do is I look at where the increase is, and I and uh, for this pattern all the increases line up. So I put an increase where there was an increase in the previous round, and I just count how many stitches are between increases. So I just did an increase, and I'll do three single crochets, one, two, three, and then here's the next increase. I can tell that there's a last increase, so I wanna put another increase above that. And by counting the stitches between increases, I know where I'm at in the pattern. So I did three single crochets and then increase. And now when I get to the end of this round, I'll know it's the end of the round because I'll have to do four single crochets before I get to the next increase. And if I get to that last, um, it, it, once I get to that round where I have to do four single crochets before an increase, I know that it's the next round. So, yeah. 
And for this pattern right now, the next round, I, ha I don't do any increases. So I know that after this round, I just do single crochets for seven rounds in a row. You count every stitch in every round. That's, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> See, so that was the end of that round. And I can tell it's the end of the round because here I have three single crochets. There's one, two, three, and then an increase. So once I see that there's three, that's how I know that was the beginning of the last round. Um, okay, so before I continue, coffee and crochet support yet again. Bam, wham. So let's see what we got for coffee and crochet. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. How about... How about something from the box of of patterns that I haven't made yet? Do you like the office coffee and crochet? Or um let's see. Ant Man, that's not a bad idea. What's this? What's a zombie? No. Oh, I know, I know. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate more of Sir Pearl Gray's patterns with another pattern that Sir Pearl and Gray and I made together. Um, this was his version. We did a. It's an anglerfish. Angie the anglerfish is her name because this is a female anglerfish. This is for you, Coffee and Crochet. Oh, you love The Office. Oh, no. Never mind. There is no anglerfish. I don't know what you're talking about. What I meant was, what I meant was Dwight. <laughs> if anybody wants an anglerfish, let me know. Support, and I'll put out the anglerfish for whoever supports, uh, whoever wants it. Instead, we'll put out Dwight. Who doesn't like Dwight? Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. This is for you, Coffee and Crochet. The anglerfish pattern is out and it's free. It's actually a YouTube video <coughs> on this channel. So we're gonna put this Dwight out just for you. Ah, too bad. Too bad. Now, now, now we'll need another support for the anglerfish out. Instead, you have Dwight. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. Okay, so here's the anglerfish. <laughs> You're funny. So this is the anglerfish. This is a pattern that me and uh, Sir Pearl Gray made. It's actually Sir Pearl Gray's pattern. So this is uh, out now. Uh, it's You can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash angler. Um, and the patterns, it's free. It's actually a free pattern, so if you want to find it. And what I really like is this is actually on a wire, so you can actually make his little thing go in a bunch of different ways. The teeth are a little messy, but that's just because it's been in a box for a while, so it's like she needed to go to the dentist. What's really cool about anglerfish, let's put let's put Angie, let's, put, let's move back Santa a little bit, get Angie here, like that. Yeah, is there anybody missing there? No. Yeah, looks pretty good. Oh, snowman fell over. There we go. What's So that's for Jane. Thank you so much, Jane. Um uh what was I saying? Oh, anglerfish are really cool because um, that's actually a female anglerfish. All female anglerfish look like this. Male anglerfish are really small. They're like t itty bitty. And what's crazy is when a male anglerfish finds a female anglerfish, they attach to their body and they slowly get absorbed into their body. It's freaking crazy. They have the most weird, just insane life. Um, yeah, you should look up, look up anglerfish. They are really weird. 
Uh, Jane asks, what's the biggest animal I've ever made? I made a, um, a T-Rex once with bulky yarn and it was huge. It was like this big. It was a, it was the same T-Rex pattern as normal, but it made it like really big. It was a custom order from someone. So I don't still have it. Um, but that, that probably is the biggest one I've made. I need to use bulky yarn to remake some of my patterns next year. A little bit more of that because it's just really cool that you can use this exact same pattern and it takes like no time at all as long as you just use bulky yarn to make an actual huge stuffed animal. Very cool. Okay, Monica. Bye. Thanks for thanks for joining, Monica. Yeah, yeah, Bella Knots. Yeah, ew, right? The anglerfish are really weird and gross, but they're it's kind of cool, you know? It's kind of cool. They're they're gross, but it's neat. <laughs> Yeah, fish are weird. I also live next to the ocean. Rebecca, there's nothing between me and the ocean, except for a couple, like a wall or two. But it's right there. Right there, can you see it? I went to the ocean yesterday. We went, we, we did a long walk on the beach. Did like a five mile walk, really. It was crazy long. And then we just sat and we watched, just watched the water. We have um, these little birds out there called pipers. Um, they're these these little, uh, they're really tiny. Um, they're they're actually called snowy plovers. But if you've seen the, um, there's a Pixar short called Piper, and that's the those are the birds that we have out there. They're like really tiny and they skitter across the ground like. I love them. They're so cute, and they fly in um, in like herds, you know, in like a big group. So when they're flying around, they look, they, it makes them look like a giant bird. It's really cool. I love those, those birds a lot. Yeah, I guess jumbo. It was like t-shirt yarn almost. So it was really, really big yarn when I made that T-Rex. Yes, I do remember Jazz's Jessica. Yes, you made a huge, you made a huge Stegosaurus too, right? Yeah, that's right. Big Triceratops and Stegosaurus. I remember that. It was giant. Yeah, she used just chunky yarn and she made this giant, it was like this big of a, of a Stegosaurus. It was huge and it used the exact same pattern. Oh no, there we go. Fix that camera. Whoopsies, I'm sorry. I just I just wanted to punch the camera is all. No big deal, I just wanted to punch a camera. See if I can't get a better angle here. It's not bad. How am I crocheting without a stitch marker? That's, that's I think the fourth, third or fourth time I've been asked that today. Um, well, right now I'm crocheting without a stitch marker by, uh, I just need to do seven rounds of single crochets. So the way that I can tell where I'm at in these seven rounds of single crochets is I find an increase. Here's one, that was actually the beginning of the next round. So I find an increase. There's an increase right here, see? And I just count up how many rounds I've done since that. So we got one, two, three. And the reason I know this is the beginning of the round is because the last increase is right here and there's only two rounds, one, two, above that increase. So I know that if that's the third one, that means mean that I'm on my third round of repeats. Jessica, there you go. <laughs> Snap, crack, and pop. Did I crack my knuckles or back again? And I didn't even pay attention to it. I crack my body so much. Yeah, so that's how I do it. 
when did I start crocheting? I started crocheting in high school. Um, I started, uh, I think it was like junior year of high school, maybe maybe freshman year. Uh, and wait, it goes freshman, sophomore. So it was sophomore or freshman year. <coughs> Um, and originally I learned how to do a, uh, an octopus. It was like a really big octopus. And that was the first thing I crocheted. And then after that, I just started making up my patterns. Um, yeah, that's when, that's when I started. Uh, and I have been hooked ever since. I think I've crocheted almost... Almost every day since then. Definitely a majority of my days since then. I have crocheted. Can I put a picture of the Pipers in the Discord? Yes, I can after this if I remember. Can you remind me on Discord? Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Jules brought my water because she's a nice yeah, girl. I'm a nice girl. Hello. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, your hands are so cold. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he does this to me all the time. Yeah, but I, okay. but, but. Oh, Jimbo's saying hi too. Here, I'll put them up. Come here. here you can see all the stickers. I put them on my water bottle. Here's Jimbo. And this is Jimbo. Hold yes, no, hello. That dangerous? Here, I can hold them. Good luck. I just have to pause on crocheting for a sec. Get it? Pause. Ha ah, ha 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 ha. Hi, buddy. His little paws. He's very fluffy. He's so fluffy. <laughs> he gets yarn on everything. Oh, hi, Lizzie. Hi, Becky. Hi, everybody. He's so, she's so purry. This, he is. This is not how purry he is. Can you hear him? Yeah, they can. I can see the... There he is. Yeah, you this can. Is, this is why we call him Motorboat Jim, because he sounds like a motorboat when he is a uh, purring. He's purrin so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Hello. Hello. He has some sleepies. He got his sleepy out. Um, oh, I sent you the dream code. The island hasn't been updated since Halloween, though. Okay. But it's there. You have it now. Yeah, I put it in the chat. Okay. I think Jasmine's going to check it out or something, maybe. Cool. I'll update it later. But, yeah. Anyway, you so should I say hi? Did you tell them about our yeah. episode? Yeah, I told them Tuesday. Tuesday. Come here, bud. Uh oh. <laughs> it's good. There we go. Okay. Oh no. Oh, taking care of us. Yep. There we go. Bye, everyone. Wait. There we go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that looked funny in the video. <laughs> I know. Isn't he beautiful? I love Jimbo. He's the sweetest dude ever. He does bite every now and then, but I love him. Can I give you one more hint? Yes. Let me finish this balloon and then I'll give you one more hint. What would you take as an X-Men gift? Something that someone bought from a store? Something someone crocheted? Definitely crocheted. If, some, if someone gave me... If like, oh my gosh, if my, like my brother gave me something that he crocheted using my pattern, that would mean so much to me. I always say something made means so much. What's the smallest thing I've ever crocheted? I'll show you actually. Let me finish this and I'll give you a hint and I'll show you what's in, what's in this box. I know it looks like, it looks like not something that's a small to crochet, but it is. Toad! Hello, hello, welcome, Toad. Please don't spam the chat, but hello and welcome. I Right now, I'm making a balloon that's gonna be attached to this uh, box. Like, uh, like the floating balloons from Animal Crossing. It's been a while since you've been in here, Toad. Welcome back. All right, yeah, so we are, yeah, I'm currently making a balloon. And I'll show you what's in this box of goodies. I think you'll like it. What's my favorite 
uh, most favorite amigurumi. My favorite Ami amigurumi, uh, at least my favorite amigurumi pattern, is my goblinoids. Uh, and then the favorite one that I've made, it's probably probably this guy here, Shank. I really like Shank a lot. I think he's really cool. I have a I have a poem I wrote for him. Actually, it goes, <laughs> it goes. Um, this is Shank, the goblin assassin. He'll pocket your pick without even asking. He'll then try to sell it to his old pal, pal Thrash, who won't accept picks because Shank owes him cash. Then he'll try... Wait, how does it go after that? He won't accept picks because Shank owes him cash. Oh, he'll break into a castle to see what's to take then leave that pick there to frame you and make for a break. That's, that's Shank's little poem that I wrote for him. <laughs> how did I learn to crochet? I learned to crochet, um, I learned how to do a single crochet online. I'm probably in a video. Uh, and and then I learned and then I made it up after that. Like I learned how to do the very very simple stuff online, and then I just started making up stuff after that. I was like, okay, well, what if I did a loop here, and then I, what if I yarn over, and then I pull, go in, and then do a loop, and then I figured out, oh, that's called a half double crochet. Okay, well, then what if I do this way? Oh, that's called a double crochet. So I kind of taught myself a lot of those stitches, and then I ended up making up a lot of new stitches that I haven't hadn't heard about before, which is why I started to do a YouTube channel, was because I wanted to teach how to crochet my patterns that I was making, but it was really hard to explain because a lot of my, like I would do stitches that there was no written tutorial for it, so it was easier just for me to do a video myself and show how, how to do it. Um, you can see that in a lot of my patterns, like my um, my uh, T-Rex pattern with the legs. That's like a stitch I made up. Um, or with the nose of the goblins, that's called a spiked bobble stitch. It's just a stitch I made up. Did I ever crochet some pets? I've tried to crochet Jiminy once, uh, but it's really hard because he's so furry and there's all these weird colors to him like because he's got gray and white and so I'd have to do like weird color changes so I haven't had a chance to really take my time and make Jimbo yet plus I got a real Jimbo yes Maggie the blind goblin uh, I think it's a troll um, the one that spins her head around she looks like a little like a, a blind witch and her head can totally spin that one is really cool that one is really cool. I'm proud of that one. The bear has to go. Well, thank you so much for joining. And hey, before you go, if you don't mind, please like this video down below. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm on my last round here. Looks like I've got just a few more. Our last round of repeats, and then I got to continue by decreasing down and then we'll see if we can make an octopus which might be a little tricky but hopefully not too bad yeah the increases yeah being able to see increases and, and it's going to be easier and easier over time Bella to see those increases and to make something you know to work with them Night Moon loves Iron Man suit. Thank you. I love it too. I think it's so cool. Especially that you can like turn the arms and take them off and stuff. Katrina's Crochet World. Thank you so much, Katrina. Let's see. What do we got for Katrina to put out? Let's go with... Ooh, ooh, here's a great one. Actually, this is a great, great moment too because let's do a little Boba Fett. Look how cool this Boba Fett is. 
I made this a long time ago, but you can see there's so much detail in it. There's all these color changes, his rocket. Look at how cool his rocket pack is. He's got this like side cape here. And actually the guy that, that played Boba Fett originally just passed away this week. So it's kind of sad, but he was obviously very inspirational. Love Boba Fett, he's so cool. Boba Fett's like the coolest dude ever. So this is for you. This is for Katrina. Thank you so much, Katrina. Boba Fett's gonna be right here to protect us and to uh, get any any bounties that that we need uh, we need got. Yeah, I gotta do a Mando. Oh, we already finished that. Okay, so we are on the next round. And the next round is three. Okay, and then we invisible decrease. Like that. One, two, three, and then invisible decrease. And we'll just keep repeating that till I get all the way around. Froggy went to knitting. Thank you so much. Four dollars from Froggy. Oh, oh, here's a cute one. You're gonna love this one, Froggy. Well, if you're a fan of if you're a fan of Pokemon, regardless, you'll probably still like it. This is a little Rowlet that I made. Oh, he's so cute. I made this a long time ago, but check it out. He's super tiny. It's a little Rowlet of the. It's a Pokemon, but it looks like a little. You know, it's just like a little owl. And it's so little bitty. Isn't he so cute? Look at the little feet. This is when Ral I made this when Rowlet was first announced because I just thought it was just such a cute Pokemon. And I still like him a lot. Maybe he'll go on Santa's head. Can you balance on Santa's head? There we go. That's for you, Froggy. Thank you so much, Froggy. Froggy went to knitting. <laughs> I like the name. I want a pattern for that. Does the owl have a pattern? No, I don't have a pattern for that one yet, but there is going to be an owl pattern coming out very soon. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, no, not four, three. There you go. There is going to be an owl pattern out coming out very, very soon. That's probably going to be the next pattern that comes out for a barn owl, which looks very similar to Rowlet there. I might be able to write that pattern out, but it's a little complicated because there's a lot of color changes and I mean, it's for it being so small, it's shockingly complicated of a pattern. <coughs> Isabel, hold that question. Isabel asks, do you do, you do micro kurumi? I do, some, sometimes. And I'll share one in just a bit. Let me just finish, um, let me finish this balloon first and then I'll, I'll share some stuff. Invisible decrease. I think that was our last one. Yeah. Then we're on to round 14. So you can see how it's a balloons coming together. It's just gonna like start to shrink down like that. Put the, oh, okay, I can do that like this. He, he actually holds up there, but then he covers up the seahorse. So we'll need the, we need to turn the duck this way. It's like a puzzle. Turn the duck that way. I don't want the duck to be covered up. So we'll have to do it on his head instead. Like that. No, like, like that. That's pretty good. Micro, micro amigurumi or micro gurumi. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's basically crocheting really, really tiny. So it's, it's crocheting tiny things with a, tiny itty bitty crochet hook and 
using embroider embroidery thread instead of yarn to make the stuff really itty bitty. And I've made a few things. I've made a skull and a goblin and uh, an orc. I crocheted a micro orc. They're fun, but gosh, it's really difficult. Oh, and Earths. I've made a few Planet Earths. Bye, Fandom Random. Enjoy your dinner. Ice Bear. Is that the is that the polar bear from We Bar Bears? We Bear 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 Bar Bears? I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I have that micro skull somewhere. I don't know where it is. But it's very cool. Oh, I can totally do micro bees. Um, okay, so now I need to do seven. I'm gonna decrease one, two, three. Four. Seven and then another decrease. Like that. Coffee and crochet again. Man, you are on fire. Uh she asks, will I do studio vlogs one day? Can you explain what that would mean? Uh maybe. I just need to know what that means a little bit more. Let's do, okay, 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 okay. How about, um, for coffee and crochets, like, fifth amigurumi out here. Uh, <laughs> let's do, <clears throat> let's do, how about, how about, let's go into this other, oh, 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 here we go. How about, how about Robin? What what do you think about Robin? No, 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 no. Let's do some other. Let's do some one. Uh, let's do. I have such a hard time deciding. Oh, let's do a squid. How about a squid? Who don't like squids? This is for you. Look at how cute this squid is. Isn't it cute? This is a pattern I've got to. I still have to work on. But it'll come out pretty soon. This is for you, Coffee and Crochet. Thank you so much. Again. <laughs> we'll have it go. Man, I chose a big one, didn't I? We'll have it go here on Iron Man's arm. So many cute crocheted things. Okay, we're going to get all this thread together because we're going to stuff our piece with it. Might run out of pink. I might need to go get some extra pink yarn too. But let's start by stuffing up this balloon just a little bit. Make our make our thing a little bit easier. You know what's really cool about that that squid? Is that um it's it's made without sewing anything on it. Anything. It's all made in one piece without sewing together anything. Isn't that crazy? It looks like the one from Super Mario Brothers for sure. Um, that was definitely part of the inspiration. Catnip Studio is a great example. I'll have to check her out. Catnip Studio. Huh, I'll check it out. I haven't I haven't ever done anything like that, but I might.
That would be a lot of fun, actually. And and probably a cool way to... Cool way to, like, share new things that I've been making. I like that idea. Thank you for the idea, Coffee and Crochet. One, two, and then we decrease. We'll do that four times. So, this pattern's almost done. I think I'm gonna have enough yarn, but not 100% sure, so let's hope. <clears throat> if not, I can go get some more pink yarn. In the other room. Yeah. I can see that being a really good way to market my stuff. That's cool. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I like that idea. What's my favorite yarn to use for making amigurumi asks? Uh, Alex. Make it for Alex. Or make it with Alex. Uh, you're looking at it. This is my favorite yarn to use for amigurumi. It's um, Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. I really like that yarn a lot. just decrease in each one sashimi sam is back <laughs> there we go Yeah, my craft room is such a mess right now. You have no idea. I really want to clean it before the end of the year. After Christmas. I'll probably go through a deep clean here. Get myself as prepared as I can for the new year. Okay, let's... We just need to stuff this a little bit, and then we have one more round. It looks like, oh, we might just barely have enough yarn. You finished the Baby Yoda! Little Grogu. Is that for a gift? Pizza and Cat's Meow? A Korok Seed from Breath of the Wild. You know what's funny? Those Korok Seeds from Breath of the Wild, they're actually the Korok's poop. Did you know that? You can tell because at the end, uh, if you collect all the Korok Seeds, you give it to the, the guy. And he'll give you a, um, a, a poop mask. Looks like a little poop. Or is it a mask? I think it's a mask. It's really, it's silly. It's really silly. I should make a better display for all my little crocheted dudes. There's so many. I should make a display so that we can like, like a little box or something that I could start stacking them on with when people support. It is fun to have them out like randomly though. But maybe I could talk to my dad and we can figure out how to build one out of wood. Like a like a bookshelf. There we go. How much more do we need here? A little bit more stuffing. Looks like we got it a little inf deflated there on the left side. I know I can't connect, uh, collect them all. There's no way I'm ever going to collect all those Korok seeds. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So many. And you need to follow a map and then, yeah, it'd just be impossible. I, I don't know how people do it. I could barely get all the shrines. So many shrines. What a wonderful game that is though, huh? Really just a just a beautiful game. Next year is the 35th anniversary for Legend of Zelda. That's why I want to do some more Zelda stuff. I mean, besides the fact that Zelda's awesome. 35th anniversary? How exciting. A 
There we go. That's probably pretty good for the stuffing. I don't think we need any more than that. And we'll keep rocking and rolling. And we're doing our final round for our balloon here. There. Oh man. Cutting it close. Actually, I think we got enough here. Increase. Increase. And then one more single crochet. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this game of chicken we played. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you. So the final bit here is I just need to do a slip stitch and pull it through and you'll see how much yarn we have left. Look at that. Close call, right? Pretty good. Pretty good. Close that. Okay, now we just need to add the, um, the pipe cleaner that will go on the top of this. And the reason I want to do a pipe cleaner is because I, I want to give it to my mom as a gift, this little balloon. And I think it'd be good to um, give it to her so it can actually be used as a balloon, not attached to the gift. So we're going to use a pipe cleaner for that. Ugh, like this. We're going to take our pipe cleaner. Oopsies. We're going to take our pipe cleaner. I think I'm just gonna fold it in half. I think that's probably long enough for a balloon. And let's see how, yeah, like that. That's pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is we wanna twist it up, but you know, maybe I can, maybe I can hide it in there a little bit. Well, no, that's fine. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this up like this. And I'm actually gonna make the top of it pretty big like that do it around my finger that way it's like it's harder to get in and out and then I'm just gonna twist it all the way up to make it double the, the thickness of this pipe cleaner and I'm gonna wrap around it with white yarn to make it a white white string instead well it's not that the cotton yarns not that expensive Yusuf asks, uh, how did I make the GIF? Is it stop motion? No, it's not actually. It is, um, <clears throat> it's all made in After Effects, which is a, uh, a program. Oopsies, I actually unplugged the thing. Hopefully it didn't die. Um, After Effects is a program that you can use to like animate things. So that's what I used for it. So it basically lets you put little puppet icons on things and then you can, yeah. That's what I use for my day job is I, I do a, little, a lot of video production for my company and uh, I use a lot of After Effects for that. So I'm just gonna put the, the pipe cleaner in there just like that and I'm going to make a slip knot. We're gonna go around the string and then around the end here. Like that. Just gonna pull that tight. We're gonna get a lot of this yarn. 
probably good. Thread that on the needle. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go on the inside of the piece here, like so. And I, and I just pull it hard enough so that the knot gets pulled in. And then I'm just gonna wrap around this all the way up to the end. And then I'm gonna come back around it. So that way we can make our string white instead of it being like just fuzzy pipe cleaner. You just gotta be careful not to, uh, or to fully cover up the, the pipe cleaner. And if I miss any spots, I'll cover it back up on the way up. Just go all the way down like that. I'll leave just a little bit on the end so I have something to poke it into. And I'm just going to go back up and try to make sure all of it is covered up. Like that. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Getting a little bit more difficult as I'm getting higher up here. Because this end keeps <coughs> snagging onto the yarn. I want to try to get as far in there as I can. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to go back through and I'm going to exit out right around here so we can double knot it onto this other end here. That. That's pretty good though, huh? Oh, oh no, it's a little heavy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Let's see if I can get it. Man, that's that's kind of a bummer, I have to say. If I hold it a little higher up like that, it, it's not too bad. But that doesn't really hold as tight as I wanted it to. Hmm. Chonky balloon. Blue. I just should have put more helium in it. That's the problem. Ah, uh, well. I'll see if I can, like, put a something in there to hold it up a little tighter. Yeah, I should blow up. I. Yep, you're right. Maybe if I do like this instead, but like do it a, like a twist like that. No, it's so pathetic. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hmm. I mean, we could do it like this and then just tie it from the top. Oh my God. The way it just like falls over like that. It's so sad. Well, I tried, I tried. Because if I held it double like that, it would hold up. Maybe if we just do like this, with the base. I should just use stronger, stronger wire. Yeah, it's just a thick boy. He's <laughs> got a thick, thick string there. 
Let's see, maybe if I use a needle, and I just go up like this, and add some sturdiness to it. Let's see, let's see if this works. Uh, it's not great. Yeah. Yeah, I should've used craft wire. I have some, I don't know why I didn't use it. I don't wanna redo it though, so I'm just gonna put it here. <laughs> and my mom will figure it out. <laughs> How to use it from something. Now before I continue and make our little octopus for our last bit, actually, I don't think we're gonna make another part of it. We've already been going for three hours. So I think that's gonna, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna give one last hint for what's in this box and give you one last chance for guessing, okay? And then after I do that, um, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna open it up in a little second. And uh, if you will give the first person that got it right will win a $15 gift card to the, to the site. The sec and then anybody who gets it right after that will win uh, a bundle of crochet stuff. Uh, just to say thanks for guessing still. Um, so the last hint, let's go through all the previous hints first. Previous hints were it's a pattern from the Club Crochet Library. Clearly it's relatively small. It is um, uh, 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 it could be a finger puppet, but it's not, but it could be. Um, it's from a video game, that's a big one. It's non-gendered, so it's not a boy or a girl. And um, let's see. Was there another hint? Oh, it's something we've made during the live stream. A, a live stream this year. Um, and the last hint is it's easily, uh, oh, oh, no, it's shy. It's shy. It's very shy. It's very shy. So that's all the hints. If you want to guess, here's your last chance. You've got to guess in the comments of the video tutorial for this present. You can find the link to that in the description below. It'll be like the top link there. And I'll open it up in just a bit. But first, I'm gonna open this gift up. This is a gift that's for my mom. Uh, she really likes these presents, so I wanna give her a bunch of these presents together. So here's what I have for her. I got, I'll put it back together after this video. Let's see, ready? Boop. And it's another box. Ugh. And in this box, what's in this box, do you think? <laughs> Tom! Tom, thank you so much. Okay, before I open this little box, this is for Tom. Wait. This is for Tom. Tom. Tom, thank you so much for supporting so, so much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. This is, this is for you, Tom. A Yeti. That's Tom's favorite, favorite pattern. And it's one of mine as well. So we're gonna put him right. We're gonna put him a little bit further in the back since he's tall enough to see everybody else. I'm just gonna push everybody up a little bit. He's gonna be like that. Tom, thank you so much. He's for you. I'll let, we'll put them out there. Look at all the support. You guys have been so supportive today. Thank you very, very much. Okay, now in this box, in this box, that's right. That's right, Yusuf, you got it right. It's another box. Boom. But what's in this box? See, there's the question. You know what was in the last box. Well, what do you think's in this box? Okay, well, I'll tell you what's in this box. It's another box. <laughs> and then in this last itty bitty box, what do you think's in here? This is where the micro crochet comes in into play that we were talking about earlier. And this little box is, oh wait, this is the wrong thing. Oh, 
Oh well. That's not what I thought was in there. There's a little itty bitty heart in this box. But there's, I have another little itty bitty heart that I made. I must have put it away. Oh man, I totally was wrong. But it's a little heart. Still, I mean, the other heart, it was a heart. Anyhow, you know, it was a heart, another heart in there, but whatever. This works. Little heart. So that's, that's a gift for my mom. I'll put it back together in a sec. Uh, okay. And finally. Well, let, I'm going to put something in this. Oh, here. Now, I wasn't able to make one for this, but we're going to put, we're going to see if we can get this little fancy pants octopus in this. Oh, he's a little tall. Let's get a different octopus instead. I have, I, I should have another one in here somewhere. Where are they? Here we go. We'll do this octopus. This octopus is going in there. Boop. He's going to be a gift for someone. I don't know who yet. One of my family members. We'll get him. And we'll put... I'm just going to stuff it a little bit. To get a little bit more... Oh wait, that's not... This isn't the one we made. He made this one. This is the one we made today. We're just going to put a little bit of stuffing on the, around him. Just to like fill in the box a little bit better. Just a little bit. We're gonna put this together and... <laughs> Unfortunately, the balloon that goes on top is a little weird, so we're not gonna do that. What do I do with the top of this? Did I drop it? Huh. Oh well. I have one right here anyhow. Okay. We're just gonna put this together. That. Put this on there like this. Ba -ba -da -ba. This is what we made today. And of course we have our balloon that's sad and won't stay. <laughs> Look, ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Uh, Fancy Pants Octopus uh, pattern is, is going to be out soon. It, the, there's the rough draft patterns are the, already on the website. So funny though. So. I'll have to figure out how to how to incorporate this later. I have a little tiny balloon too. This is also for my mom. My mom gets like all the crocheted things. Oh, okay, now is the moment of truth, guys. Here is we're gonna be opening this gift. And I'm gonna refresh this page for all the comments, and I'm not going to. Your comments are locked in now, so. Don't try to change your comment. It's too little, too late. Now, if you got it right, um, if you were the first one to get it right, which I already know who the first one that got it right is, but if you're the first one to get it right, um, you win a $15 gift card to the website. If you're not the first one, you win a gift card to the website, or not a gift card, uh, a free a free uh, uh bundle of patterns so you get some some patterns uh I just as like a consolation prize for thank you for guessing <clears throat> now if you got it right in any aspect i'm going to reply to your comment and say please email me okay and then i'm going to provide you my email uh so email me if you if you get that comp if you get the reply to the comment and say hey my name is and tell me what your username is and i'll send you whatever you want okay Cool. All right. This is what's in the box. And. Yeah, I can see a lot of people know what it is. It's white. 
That's right. It's Boo. Boo from Mario. He's from a video game. He's super shy. And the winner of this is, you know who, you know who you are. It's Jasmine. Wait, right? Jasmine? Oh, I can't. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta scroll down. I gotta find it. It was early on. It was actually... Yeah, it was Jasmine. Jasmine got it right. I don't know how she got it right, but she got it right before we were even doing all these guesses, too. It was, like, so long ago. So congratulations, Jasmine. And thank you guys so much again. Let me, let me switch to this. Let me do... Let me do this. And you can see my messy, my messy part of the room and back there. Let's see if I can. I'll turn the camera a little bit more. Get that out of there, guys. Thank you so, so much for this year. You guys have made this year amazing, amazing, incredible. It was a, it was clearly a rough year for all of us, but you guys really made it a lot better for me, and I, I really appreciate that so much. Thank you guys so much for joining these live streams. Um, this is my last live stream for the year. But I'll be back first Sunday of, of January. And I don't know what we'll be making just yet, but we'll be making something. Don't you worry about that. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody that's watching. Thank you so much for joining the chat and joining my ramblings and crocheting along with me. I appreciate you guys all so much. You have no idea. Yes, we'll email you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Um, yeah. So if you got the answer right, I'll I'll, com I'll reply to your comment right after this video. I'll do it like immediately after. Um, yeah. So oh, just because I want to show you, this is for Sasha Shazia. Shazia says, "Could you cr try crocheting Wolverine?" This is an old one for me, but yeah, I've done it. Way ahead of you. Um, anyhow, yes, happy holidays to everybody. Thank you so much for all the happy holidays in the chat. Make sure, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other fun stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next year. <sighs> it's hard to say goodbye, you know, but I love you guys. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. You know how I am. I'm terrible at terrible at leaving. But uh yeah. Alright. Make a present. Make some crochet some gifts for your family. Okay. 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 Bye. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs>